Um, well, I liked it when you had the bass. I was just going to say, I forgot the bass. It's, the yeah. room. it's okay. You know what? Oh, well. It's still not a bad Friday, Frank. Oh. It's a good Friday. Well, that's it. I'm out. I'm, I quit. <laughs> Tied it all in. <laughs> good See job. What I did? Um, well, all the things we have to discuss. P. Diddy is one of them. Uh -huh. We actually have the court complaint. I want to read that to everybody. And then his reaction today okay was i'm i shouldn't be you're all gonna everybody's gonna be like you shouldn't be surprised i'm stunned stunned yeah everybody actually like, if everybody knew then what do we you know why, why is this such a big you know <laughs> why is, why is this a revelation why right it, right why wasn't anything done about it when right. it was happening where was everybody? Where was all the sleuths before? Oh, you knew? Oh, okay. So you said nothing when yeah. you knew? Okay. To be fair, though, there was definitely some people that were like, you need to talk about this P. Diddy thing more. But that was a couple of weeks ago. That was after the big Cassie thing, which we talked about. Anyway, Governor Hochul booted from the uh, funeral of the slain officer here on uh, Long Island in New York. We'll talk about that. Bethany Frankel punched in the face. Really? One of many women recently in New York City punched in the face um my easter plans and my bj's run i'm very upset with the bj's corporation i'm explain so why not my easter plans just yours fine well let's we'll see if we have time to get into yours you know you have a lot of east you have a lot of easter things going on i have I one think. easter thing going on you okay. don't know what you see you don't ask that's the thing i never asked i never asked <laughs> As soon as I, as soon as Frank came on, I'm like, let me tell you this, Frank. And I just started talking. Poor yeah, guy. I, I zoned out though. I didn't hear any of that. Uh, the conjoined, the conjoined twins got married to one dude. So automatic threesome there. there um, go. and we have a discord thanks to Raven. Although like an old man, I don't know how to run I it. I still don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to figure it out on this episode. And Aaron C has a surprise for us. All that and more. It's a good friend. <laughs> What is a Discord? It's like a chat room. Yeah, right. And Raven went through the trouble of putting it all together. And is it an app? Is it a site? Is yes, it like, it's it's so an you app. You download something called Discord. Yes. And there we are. Everybody, go download Discord now. Right, at the I'll start of the show. And then by the time we get to this, we'll all know how to sign up. It looks like a weird. Um, here, it looks like a weird person. It looks like a remote control with eyes. It's like a face, but like a PlayStation remote control. It's the one in the middle. Oh, well, there he is. All you right. know what you just did just now that you don't even know you did? You did the Jim Carrey looking through the thing in the, in the water. Tour. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? When he's in the... Is... <laughs> <laughs> when he's in the pool. <laughs> Oh, does it get any better than that? Oh, my God. He was a 94 carry. He was just the best. It oh, just doesn't get better than that. Fucking Ace Ventura, man. Yeah. That was. Hey, there's Discord. I got to log in, though. Okay. Yeah. And I don't, I don't have my. so bright. I don't have my login. And then Raven, I'm going to need, and not now, because you're. I know she's got to put it now, and I'm, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to need the link like on how much. everybody could join, because she gave me, like, the sign in stuff, but I think it's her sign in. I don't know. And I think Aaron's involved in this somehow. I'm not sure. We might need Aaron to save us. We might need Raven to save us, but we'll we'll get into it. The people are waiting for Diddy, Frank, and Diddy, we shall give them. All right, Diddy it up. The complaint. Like password. Okay. Yeah, it's Go a whole, you gotta do a thing. You gotta it's join in thing. another thing. It's a whole thing. But it'll be fun because as Raven uh showed me, we've got Raven's Cravens up there. Excellent. Um, there's like, a there's like channels where you could put stuff. There's like a bird channel and a Robin channel. So everybody can like run their thing. See now discord is once TikTok is gone, this will be the new TikTok. We'll have the discord. Well, the discord. There you go. All right. Here's the uh, summary of events from the last lawsuit against Diddy. So here's the allegations. It comes from. Uh, the producer of his last record, Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jones produced P. Diddy's record from September of 22 to November of 23. He lived with Puff Daddy at the time, spending holidays, birthdays, and missing major family events just to be with him at all moments. Man. He resided in P. 
P. Diddy's California residence, New York City, and Miami, Florida. This They've is been, Mr. Jones. This is Mr. Jones. Okay. Not me and Mr. Jones. Just Mr. Jones. What about Mrs. Jones? Uh, different, different. We don't, we'll see if we have time. Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time. Um, they were also on a yacht that P. Diddy rented in the U.S. Virgin Islands. You know who else has a place in the U.S. Virgin Islands? I used to anyway. We used to it anyways, right? Uh, throughout his time with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones witnessed, experienced, and endured many things that went far beyond his role as producer of the Love album. The claims raised in the complaint have been corroborated. This is the most important part. The claims that Mr. Jones has made have been corroborated through witness statements, video and audio recordings, and images that Mr. Jones has in his possessions. Wow. That's a big damning thing. Is not only is he saying all this stuff, but he's got the receipts, as the kids say. So what uh, what is he claiming? Okay. Uh, Mr. Jo Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to record him constantly. On several occasions, Mr. Combs took Mr. Jones' cell phone and began recording himself. As a result, Mr. Jones has secured hundreds of hours of footage and audio recordings of Mr. Combs and his staff and his guests engaging in serious illegal activity. Mr. Jones has secured irrefutable evidence of the following. Irrefutable. Yeah. Irrefutable? Irrefutable? Irrefutable. You think you're right. The acquisition, use, distribution of ecstasy, cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, and mushrooms. What the hell is GHB? I don't know. All right. That's how you know they're big into the drug game when they got the new drugs that nobody even knows about yet. Yeah, there's acronyms flying around. Nobody can keep track. Yeah, what's GHB? Is that the new word for Molly? I feel like Molly keeps changing its name. Or is Molly ecstasy? <laughs> Uh, good question. I told you, we should have done drugs earlier in life. Is that right? Yeah. The displaying right. and distribution of unregistered illegal firearms. Mr. Combs providing laced alcoholic beverages to minors and sex workers at his homes in California, New York, and the U.S. Virgin Islands and Florida. It's Mr. Combs, good. chief of staff, Christina Corin. KK, as they call her, instructing her staff to retrieve drugs so she can provide it to Mr. Combs for his consumption. Uh, Christian Combs, drugging and sexually assaulting women. That would be his son. Christian's his son. That's Mr. Combs either. detailing how he planned to leverage his relationship with Bishop T.D. Jakes to soften the impact on his public image of Cassie Ventura's lawsuit. Because if you remember, they were together when Cassie filed the big lawsuit at the end of last year. Okay. That was the thing that kind of got this whole thing really going is when Cassie, his ex girlfriend, came out and said, filed a lawsuit and then they settled the next day. Remember all that? Right. So people in the chat are saying GHB is the date R drug. Oh. Yeah. See? Branding. They changed the name. Now it doesn't sound so bad. I can't. What would GHB? I guess it's whatever the drug is. Yeah, I guess so. Because if you go, called. if you go, hey, do you have the date R drug on you? It yeah, sounds no, really bad. But if you go, you get you the GHB. GHB. It sounds like something you get at GNC. You dig? Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? I don't have that one. <laughs> Can I have one? Uh, next time. <laughs> Young Miami's cousin or assistant sexually assaulting Mr. Jones. Actor Cuba Gooding Jr. sexually harassing and assaulting Mr. Jones. Rapper, whose, whose name has been redacted, on Mr. Combs' yacht consorting with underage girls, sex workers. And R&B singer, also redacted, in Mr. Combs' Los Angeles home consorting with underage girls and sex workers. So a lot of things there. Wow. Now, you must be thinking to yourself, well, Puff Daddy would be uh, probably smart to just uh, hide and lay low and don't be seen out in the public now that all the stuff is out there. Nope. Mm. Was out in Miami last night with his two twin daughters flashing the peace sign to people as they walked by. I mean, I don't know what the idea behind any of that is he trying to portray a hey i'm just uh going about my life i'm 
projecting an innocent vibe kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't look good, though. It's a witch hunt against me. This is ridiculous. Just because there are tapes doesn't mean I did anything on those tapes. So this guy says he has tapes of all this. This guy guy goes, I got tapes of everything. Now, maybe he's a big fat liar and he doesn't. But that would be really amazing to file a law. First of all, I don't know if a lawyer could file all this without going, okay, let me see. Yeah, I have. I need proof of this. I'm not just going off your word, right? And why would? Here's the other part of it. Why would anybody be redacted in that? If he's got evidence, proof, like they're on the tape. What are they protecting? Good question. I don't know. What are they afraid of getting sued? Go ahead. You're on the tape. What are you? You you're going to win that lawsuit. It's a great question because why was Cuba Gooding Jr. and some of the other people named, but not those yeah. other two? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's a little suspicious. Yeah. Sus, as the young people would say. I'm trying to use all the young phrases now because when you're when everybody's helping me sign up for Discord later and I got my glasses on at the edge of my right. nose, it's gonna be a bad look. <laughs> so I gotta get my cable knit sweater and my my <laughs> my soup. <laughs> and, and my then, soup. My glasses with the chain on it and sign up for Discord. I, <laughs> it's going to take some time, but I'll I'll get there. Yeah. So he was just out in Miami with his daughters, which is really alarming to me because the, they're, I don't know how old they are. Hang on, I might know. But they look very young. Right. You know, and, oh, 17 years old. They're 17. Both of them? So, yeah. Are they twins? Well, they're twins, yeah. Okay. So both of them. They that makes me feel like he was like, um, let's go, girls, we're going out because I need to look like nothing's wrong here. I guess. I wonder if he I'm sure does he have does he have a PR team saying, Hey, oh yeah, maybe don't go out or maybe go out or whatever the plan I'm sure oh. they have some kind of plan. I think he has a PR team, but I think he tells the PR team what to do. I don't think it goes the other way around. Then what's the point of a PR team? Just to to, to do his bidding. I guess. Yeah, to work the phones and do his bidding. I don't think they're like, hey, I think you should be doing this. I don't I don't think anybody says that to this guy. No. Yeah. In fact, I, I know that to be true because he's a rough he's a rough d- dude. When it comes to being like a businessman, he don't take no shit. Well. I think oh, that's about to change. Yeah, which is just amazing to me. But like to in, to drag his seventeen year old daughters in this and just like flash like just do you need to be out right now? Like stay inside. I don't think this is the good look. And by the way, like I make a Trump joke here, but this is the same thing that Harvey Weinstein did, right? This I mean we've seen mm-hmm. this move before of just go out there and act like those victims are crazy, and they're making it all up. And there's nothing wrong, nothing to see here. I'm totally innocent. Let me have, like, Harvey Weinstein had an entire press conference talking about how crazy these people are. Yeah, what's the response from, I mean, there's a a Diddy response, right? That was it. That was the response. Okay. There's no direct response to the, the guy saying he's got tapes? No, he hasn't said anything about that. All right. He wore, he wore sunglasses at night. He had a velour suit on. So and, I can, so I can. <laughs> him and his See, two daughters w- were like leaving um, uh, some spot in Miami, I guess. But it was like, you know, it's Miami. Yeah. He knows there's going to be paparazzi out there. Like it was a total, it wasn't like they were caught off guard. He was leaving one of the Miami hotspots where all the celebs go just so he could be photographed with his two young girls going yeah i mean come on that's an that's an absurd response and again it's really alarming because for him to drag his two little girls into this and be like put a brave face on this for even if he's just telling them it's nothing you don't have to worry about but they're 17. well you can't i mean if if what everybody if all this stuff is true you can't expect a normal response from someone like that i guess not but i mean think about it this way you have a 17 year old daughter they're obviously reading the internet. I'm sure they're aware of what's going on. They obviously have questions. I'm sure they asked, or I'm sure they, or I'm sure he even came out and said and reassured them. 
do you would you want to just be thrown out in public like that with him yeah right as the the kid would you be like uh maybe i'm st- i'm not gonna because you know uh, if you're the kid you're gonna be like i'm gonna go out with you we're gonna get photographed together all, all of us and yeah. there's gonna be now now we're dragged into the the story a little even if it's just a little yeah, yeah. i mean that's kind of a bit much i mean every look like, <clears throat> everybody has like um you know family squabbles at the very least not everybody's father is accused of running a sex ring right but right. everybody has family squabbles. You ever, you know, you mix it up with your mom or your dad or whatever. It's, you, you need like a day or two sometimes to be like, yeah, right. Let's just, you know. Yeah, maybe just, we Uber Eats today. Let this exactly. We don't have to. Hey, Dad, we don't have to go out in public, and be right. photographed with you. I mean, that to me is like, first of all, that's a that's a red flag for bad parenting. F- first of all, mm-hmm. and then second of all, I feel like it's psychotic behavior given what you were just accused of. You know. Yeah, even if you are innocent, I just I wouldn't like even if if I was accused of such thing and I was if I knew I was innocent, I still wouldn't drag my kids into this at all. Right. So now Burr brings up a point. Uh, I hope he goes down for his crimes. But man, it would be nice to see some accountability in the Epstein ring. What if this is that? Do you know what I mean? What if he's a part of it? The Epstein ring. I don't well, know. Everybody's comparing the two of them, saying that he ran a similar operation. I was gonna say, what if? But what if he's they were it. intertwined somehow? The similar accusations here. Oh, it. Every. I mean, the playbook is the same. Right, cameras, exactly. cameras in the house, uh, drugs uh, all over the place, blackmail with high profile people i mean it's the same exact playbook you i yeah i mean who knows yeah. if, if they knew each other if they were i don't know if we have any of that evidence if they were part of the same circles did he sign there you go did he sign way to go jack me off the horror movie nobody wants to see yeah um you know it's very conspiratorial but if they were tied into somebody in our government, I mean, it would make sense that there's more than one. Right. You know? So this could be, this could just be an offshoot or, uh, you know, something related to that. Yeah. Could be an extension of uh, what Bird said. It could be extension of the whole thing. Well, it makes sense, right? Because Epstein was, what, 50, whatever? I mean, Puff Daddy's old, too, but he skews a bit younger. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, it's, I don't, it just makes sense to have more than one weird I don't know. They got houses in the same areas, it seems, right? All I mean, the same areas. All the same areas. They got island, an island in the same, right? Uh, generally the same area. Mm-hmm. It seems. Well, I don't know if Diddy owns an island, but he's in the same oh, area. Oh. He owns a house in the same area. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Well, all right. Similar area, a house, not an island. I don't know. They and then, and again, the accusations. This could be just the raid could have been because of whatever was mentioned with the whole Epstein thing. Who knows if they're related or not? Don't know. I mean, if they're not relate, I mean, even if they're not directly related. There are so many similarities. You can't help but think that there was some sort of funnel from one to the other on this is how you do it. Yeah, whether it's they have the same drug supplier or what you know, or whatever's going on. Yeah. They got they run I'm sure they've run into this if what both of their if everything's true, then I'm sure they've run into the same shady ass people. Yeah. Being you know, not that they're not shady enough, they are. But I'm sure they run into the same people that would connect the the, the dots here. You know what's crazy? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this um, in a second because I want because Aaron's coming up, so I'd love you to throw a plug in while I blow my nose for the Oval mm-hmm. Book. Um, but his one of his bodyguards spoke up on how they drug the people. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll, I'm gonna share that with everybody. Right after this live read from Frankie oh. C., ladies and gentlemen. Take it away, okay. Frankie C. Tell them well, about that Oval book. That Oval book is a book written by my wonderful wife, Erin. It's called Oval, O-V-E-L. It's available on Amazon, and uh, it's available to digitally download, or you could order a hard copy book. 
Uh, it's called Oval, a novel, and it's an awesome fiction uh, piece of fiction that Aaron wrote. It's uh, a great read if you're, you know, looking for something cool to read. Uh, this is a great book. Pick it up. It's called Oval. The link is in the description below. Um, pick it up today. It's available on Amazon. Uh, if you love it, please leave a, a nice review. Appreciate that. There's Robin and Miss Justice. Just put the links in the uh, in the chat. So we appreciate that as well. Do Check it out for yourself. Yes. Like that. Pick a link, any link. Anyone will do. Yeah, agreed. Um, nice job. Oh, thanks. You all right over there? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, allergies are killing me. So the bodyguard of of uh, Diddy is doing an interview, and he says, "Listen to this. It's kind of genius." You go, "That's genius," even though you don't want to admit that it because it's used for evil. You hate to say it, but so he goes, "They don't put the drugs in." the booze you know so like when you you know see all oh, like they drug my drink and they drug my drink they'll like pop champagne and all that right mm -hmm. they'll do it in front of everybody so people feel like oh this is safe so i'm open the bottle and pour it in my glass i must be fine he said they don't put drugs in the booze they put drugs in the mixers in the juice so, you know, when you go to a club and you get like a champagne bottle or a vodka bottle or whatever you get and it comes with, what does it come with all the time? Orange juice, cranberry juice, right? Oh. comes with, you know, the, the pineapple juice it comes with the mixers. They put the drugs in there. Nobody thinks of that. They're, everybody's just so like, oh, I got to make a brand new bottle open of, of the alcohol. That's how they, that's how he said that. That's how they operate. That's how they were doing it. That's Man. how they were able to do it so often and so well. And people could never protect themselves because who thinks oh, I got to make sure that the, the cranberry juice is OK. I mean, when I say it, you, you think, oh, I have to look at everything. But when you're young, you just you always protect your drink. You always just kind of look at the bottle. You look at the alcohol. You look at the thing that is the issue, not the juice. And you think someone you look at your glass. And as long as you're controlling what you put in your glass. Right. You think, all right, I got. I'll grab the juice. I'll put that in there. I'll grab the alcohol. I'll put that in there. But you don't think that someone got to that juice before you got to it. Before, yeah, because it always comes in those little canter things, you know, mm. those little jugs. Not so Not that's that's how he said they were doing it, which is God, like, the hell? Jesus, yeah. I would have never. Th I would have never thought of it. I would have never thought of it. Yeah, that's that's some devious shit. And I got drugged once. Did you? Nobody believes me when I say this. Yeah. Do you, I don't think I was with you. I was with, uh, what's her name? <sighs> Amanda. Uh, no. Remember Amanda back in the day? Radio Amanda? Yeah, yeah. I was with her and her boyfriend at the time, now husband. And we went out. I went to the bathroom. I think you told me this. Yeah. Who's drugging me? I... I was just like, oh, it was with people that I kind of knew. I could just watch her go to the bathroom. Came back, finished a drink. I was like, it, within like a half hour, I was like, holy crap. And this was in the heavy drinking days. I passed out in the car. Didn't even make it. I mean, they woke me. I woke up in front of my house. They were like, are you okay? Man. And she was like, you didn't drink a lot. I'm like, I know. And then I went right to bed and I was fucked up. Like the weird dreams crazy dreams woke up like late the next day and i've never felt like a sleep like that like even the best sleep in the world that good old colonoscopy sleep even that wasn't like this this was like uncontrollable like you're good like i felt myself fading out but i like i woke up in front of my house Ooh. like a sleep that you couldn't fight it was weird that is that is rough yeah, yeah, I think you told this. Yeah, you told. I told this story before. before. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The maybe... worst thing that could happen to a person like me getting drugged and not there being no sex involved. I, I imagine whoever scumbag did that thought that they were getting someone else. A million percent. That's my theory: is that there was a girl standing next to it, and they were like, "Let's drug this bitch," and oh, then I come out God. of the bathroom and start drinking the drink. Oh, well, if it makes you feel better. Yeah, you you took one for. I might have saved a young you might lady. Might have saved someone. Yeah, right. yeah, I might have saved the young lady's life. Yeah, good for you then. Yeah. 
Um, and then I, the next day, I woke up in a dentist chair with a button open. I couldn't remember oh, if I was buttoned or not buttoned. Wait, so you tucked? <laughs> oh, that was a I think I was tucked. <laughs> oh, I think I was tucked. Yeah. Did you ever hear that story with that scene? Brian Cranston tells this story when he's got, he gets interviewed about it. Um, he was uh, pr- rehearsing, and he was uh, in the studio by himself rehearsing that scene, and there happened to be a some guy, a lighting guy or something on a ladder, and it, it was the only two people around. Did you hear this one? I've, I've heard this story. I love this story. Yeah, and he's like, uh, he's rehearsing this, and, the, and he hears, you know what would be funny? And Brian Cranston looks around, and he goes, he's the guy on the ladder. He goes, what? What would be... What would be funny? He goes, if you took a hit of the the gas before you put it on. And he goes, that would be funny. And he did it. And then he ha- he did it on the day they shot it. And Seinfeld was hysterical laughing. And he, and he credited the guy on the ladder. And the guy standing there, he just goes, you know, just like he knew. Yeah. Like uh, he, did, did he never see that guy again or something like that? Oh, that I don't know. But I remember him telling that. It's on YouTube. If you look up Brian yeah. Cranston Watley story or something, I'm sure you can find his... He, they interviewed him about that. He said he goes through that whole thing. It's really funny. It's, it's a good story. Yeah, he had a good. He was one of the good recurring roles. Oh yeah, on on Seinfeld, which we really need to hammer that out one day. Best guest, best uh, guest stars, I guess, or recurring roles. It could be a blind top five one time. It Who could knows? be. Although, I need to be prepared for that. I can't. I can't See, be too no, blind. You can't. No, that's the, that's the fun of it. Yeah, it, it's not a it's not a I see everything top five. I feel like it needs to be both. Like you remember when they did the documentary on the Miracle on Ice team and then they made the movie. I think it needs to be a blind top five. And then we need to do our studying and come in and seriously debate it. That I'm in for. But the right. blind top five has to be you got to go in cold. <laughs> no, no, no. I like to go in cold. <laughs> um, Governor Hochul was denied entry into the New York uh, police department officer Jonathan Will- Jonathan Diller's wake. I couldn't have butchered that more. Let's start that again. Take two. Governor Hochul was denied entry into NYPD officer Jonathan Diller's wake earlier today. Why? Um, well, I believe several reasons, but uh, I don't know because the gentleman that wouldn't let her in didn't speak to me, give me a reason why. Okay. But one can only assume. Uh, and if people are unfamiliar with this story, there was an NYPD cop, Jonathan Diller, father of a one-year-old boy, very sad and tragic, routine traffic stop, comes to the side of the car, guy pulls out a gun, shoots him, he's dead. Uh, we go to find out the guy who shot him had been arrested, no exaggeration, 20 times, and was out while un- like while dealing with his last arrest. So naturally, people are sick of this kind of thing going on. I mean, we just talked about this not that long ago. The people that dismembered people were let to go free. And I I couldn't believe, I'd like they must have some uh, ankle bracelets or something on them. I mean, it seems kind of crazy. But then you see a story like this and you're like, there's no reason for this person who has been arrested so many times to be allowed out. And now he's taken this young man's life, and it's the most tragic thing ever. It's really, I mean, I don't know about you, but this is one of those stories that is really rippling across the tri-state area right now, I feel. Like, there's not anybody who doesn't know about this cop's story. His picture's been everywhere since Sunday and when it happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, People are raising money for him like crazy. Um, I know I saw a GoFundMe for like 300000 uh, Barstool Sports raised seven hundred and fifty thousand, and the founder Dave Portnoy matched it. So they're sending over a million and a half dollars to the widow. Um, there was a story that President Trump donated to the Tower, the the uh, Tower Tunnel to Tower Foundation, and that I don't know if that I think he gave them money, and then other a lot of people gave money, and they paid off her mortgage, his the wife's mortgage. Anyway, I could only assume that Hochul wasn't allowed to go in because her, along with Eric Adams, are partially responsible for these and the DAs for these lax laws that people are just allowed to go out and commit horrible crimes and then be right back out on the street the next day. 
You know, and there's a reason why. And, and listen, let me finish this because I know you're going to hate this. But the truth of the matter is in the political uh, chess game, Donald Trump had a big W this week because he flew in to go to this guy's funeral and was welcomed with open arms while simultaneously across town, uh, Biden, Clinton and Obama were at a fundraiser and didn't step a foot anywhere near this guy's funeral. Now, listen, Would they have been let in? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. I didn't love it when Trump announced he was going because I thought this is. Yeah, and he had a press conference right outside too. Yeah, I thought that's a bit much. You don't really want to listen. Give your money quietly. Give the condolences and all that. I don't know if he had any uh, link to the guy or whatever. I thought it was a political move. I didn't love it, but watching it play out over the last couple of days, he won. He won this week. Say what you will about what that means about anything, because, you know, in three weeks from now, everybody's going to forget about this anyway. But he won this week and, and the the Democrats didn't look good. Joe Biden didn't didn't look good. And then it's really not looking good now when Hochul shows up and is literally told, go away. You're not welcome here, which I and so put all the Trump stuff aside. I don't blame them for that, because if you live in a state where their laws led to the death of your family member, I don't think you would want the people in charge of that showing up. I mean, you got some fucking nerve. I mean, it's one thing for Trump. I, I, I think it would have been another thing for Biden. I don't think I don't even put Biden on the same plane as this. To me, this is an Adams and Hochul issue. Do you know? I mean, and 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 I just to, a, a, any, I feel. Any city council, you know what I'm saying? Any city council or mm -hmm. state assembly person, all of them, uh, all of them, this woman mm -hmm. has every right to be pissed off at. Is, are they pissed off at uh, Trump and the NRA know. being in, in hand in hand together for the four years he was president? And refusing to pass any gun laws or anything like that? I didn't think you'd be making a good point, but that's not a bad point. Okay. No, no. They, that's okay. We don't we don't need to talk about that, I guess. Are any Republicans, you know, upset about the fact that no gun laws have been, you know, when Democrats have been trying to pass gun, common sense gun laws and stuff like that, but no, that's no don't forget about that stuff. That's fine. It's tra it's terrible that this happened. This is awful. It shouldn't have happened. Um it's but, you know, Trump was in charge for four years. He could have pushed for gun stuff. He didn't. Not only did he not push for gun stuff, but he's the big um, all for the Second Amendment. Dumb the uh, can't touch the Second Amendment guy. You know he's like um, so. Let's take it easy with the you know. I, I don't know. I just feel like it, it's show me the politician that is on the side of law and order, and show me the politician that doesn't give a shit about law and order just looking at just giving a shit about his image that's all that's my stance of it it's great that he gave that he gave money great see i don't think criminals would follow gun laws that's not about it's not about the so there's two points on that one is just because you don't think a criminal would follow the gun laws doesn't mean that the gun laws shouldn't be there in other words there are laws against buying selling using cocaine but people break it all the time and they get arrested for it. But so the people break it doesn't mean we should get rid of the the cocaine laws, heroin laws. You know, any just because bre people break the law doesn't mean that those laws shouldn't be there. One. Two, um, these laws, they, they worked like they were gun laws in, in the 90s that, mur you know, the mass shootings went down. And then they've expired, and then they, they went back up again. It's like, and look at any other country in the world, literally any other country. We're the worst when, to, when it comes to gun violence. Uh, well, it's an interesting point you make, but I think Bird kind of brings it back to the center, which is the repeat offender issue, too. Because it's not just a gun law issue here. I get what you're bringing it up. It's a good point on your part. But the real issue is these repeat offenders i mean 20 well, I times 100 percent. yeah that's a that's a don't know why someone would be 
at the very least uh, you're right ankle monitor someone watching them uh, the whole i don't know how this person what was their offense how many what were they what did they do 20 times i don't think they did the same thing 20 times they i don't know what the guy's crimes were but yeah yeah uh, the um Diller, uh, Diller's murderer, 34-year-old Guy Rivera, had at least 20, I'm sorry, 21 prior arrests and did a five-year prison stint. At the time of the shooting, Rivera was seated in a Kia driven by 41-year-old Lindy Jones, who was previously convicted of attempted murder but was let loose on a $75,000 bail for an illegal gun charge last spring. Uh, Mayor Eric Adams and former a former NYPD captain lashed out at Albany for its lack of lackadaisical approach to bail reform and recidivism at a somber press conference on Tuesday. Yeah, it's this whole bail reform thing that the state put out that's just, and um, yeah. it's, people are going to get hurt. I, I there don't are a lot of laws this. that are, that are fucked up that need to be, that need to be fixed. hundred percent. I agree. But, you know, but, they got to work together. Both parties got to work together, and they're not doing that. But when you look at it from that perspective, that Hochul's, uh, during Hochul's reign, this bail reform bill was put forth, and now she has the balls to show up at the fucking funeral? She should have gotten kicked in the face by somebody. I'm All sorry. Right, let's not say that. Oh, well, a female, preferably. Man-on-woman violence, I'm not for. You know that. But woman-on-woman violence, that would have been very appropriate, I feel like, at the time. No, she, no. she she should have been kicked in the face by somebody and, and given the boot. It's absolutely terrible. I I and I know a law break is going to break the law regardless of any laws, but that doesn't mean that there shouldn't be laws on the you know that are enforceable. Track the you know, like there are. It's not like people think gun law. They think oh they're going to take the gun. No, it's about tracking the guns, knowing who's got what. You know, of course, there's going to be illegal stuff going on. But at least you could keep track of where maybe guns are and they could be taken if they're illegally purchased or it's, you know, who owns what gun. People could be held accountable for selling, buying, all this stuff. It could be better uh, background checks, things like that. So I just see, feel like, and I mean, because you're going to say, like, when I say this, people are going to be like, five's, five's too much. There should be a hard cap on arrests like at five i feel like five arrests to be fair you should never see the streets ever again at five what if you arrests. get what if you get arrested five times for you know shoplifting then i you know there should be some sort of an appeal process that you could get, maybe get a special exception but i feel like when you because i feel like because to your point Okay, you can get arrested for making a mistake. People make two mistakes. People even make three mistakes that may be like harmless. Like you said, a couple shoplifting things. Nobody's dying. It's fine. But around four or five, I feel like it's evident this isn't working out. You know what I mean? Like, like if you were with somebody and they cheated on you, you could you might be like, all right, let's see if we can get through this. And you might be able to do it again. But around three or four, you're gonna go. I just don't think you love me and I think we should end this relationship. That's what I feel like society needs to do with some of these people that are habitual offenders. It's yeah, habitual offenders. There's what, again, it's the depends on the crime, what they did and the reason they're doing it. Like if they're all hot, like if they're, yeah i don't know not not the murder murder is you know that's a, but if they're like robbing a place to feed their family that's probably not you know if they rob a, a, a grocery store because their family's starving you could let that you know that's not a put them Underst away forever crime. understandable i mean you're still putting people's lives in danger though you know it's like uh, no i mean like like pickpocket you know not pick oh, oh, like, yeah, yeah. like putting food in their pockets i mean yeah yeah, I agree, but I feel like once you introduce a knife and hire. Yeah, I agree. You know, that's that's bad shit. You and know, I agree, you know, local local stuff, it's bad. I, I don't, I'm not defending anything like that. So I'm defending uh, the way and I don't, I'm trying, I'm reading the chat and it's. 
I don't know what Jack is insinuating that I saw all over TikTok. Janine is here, by the way. Oh, I've been here. I like you've been that. in the chat. You've been. You've been I, I had because I was I was putting someone to sleep. It was like twenty five seconds before I like put you on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I mean like I've been in the chat. That's what. Oh, I mean. oh, okay, okay. I thought you were like yelling at me for not getting to you fast enough. Oh, no. okay, okay. So, I'm just gonna say that, and I don't know if you saw me write this. She was booted because they did not want her there because. Yeah her laws about bail reform are the reason why this guy is dead. I think I said that. Didn't I say yeah. that? Oh, I don't yeah, know. Which is I, terrible. You know what? I, what you would call it? I was trying to listen, putting someone to sleep, but that didn't really to sleep. That didn't really work. I mean, um, yes, Jack, that I did see that all over TikTok, and I have some theories on that, but we'll get to that next. That's the Bethany thing. Go ahead, Janine. But um, I have a question for you, Frank. So you think, it, you think whatever it's, what, just, I just want to say this, whatever's happening next is going to, oh, I, we got like two, three minutes before we got to move on to the next thing. So go ahead. Just a quick question. You think it's okay if someone um, robs a store or pickpockets to get money to buy s- stuff for their family? If their kid is starving and you steal uh, some food for them, that's, I think that's okay. If Let a kid is, if a child is starving, and you and you grab a, a, an apple and give it, and a kid well, is eating. Well, let me intervene. Now. Not okay, but uh, ex- uh, understandable. Understandable, and yeah. I don't think should be punished the way anybody, you know, like robbing a place because you're not robbing a place to to buy a, a you know, a, I don't know, a watch or anything, or you know, you're you're trying to feed a starving kid i think that's fine not to defend frank here but um frank was responding to what i said about the three strikes or five strikes or whatever and he's saying if you if you're caught stealing food for your kids three times you should have to spend the rest of your life in prison which i agree with but then i also said once you introduce a knife or above then there's no excuse how about if you are robbing a store and you scare someone and they have a heart attack then what what do you mean then? I'm not, I'm not talking about holding up a place. I'm not saying holding up a place. I'm saying you're trying, you steal something, someone sees you, they get scared, they have a heart attack. Robin says salad I stealing don't. is the worst. This is an I interesting don't. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the, okay. I have no idea. Because I don't, cause... I don't. Uh, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with, and I have kids, and I do not agree with that at all. So if your if your kid was starving and you saw uh, uh, literally starving, like couldn't move, thin as a rail, and you didn't have money to buy food for the, for your child, you wouldn't you couldn't grab you wouldn't grab something for them to eat. No, I would I would do it legally. I would either get a job or try my hardest, beg for it. I would not I would not put myself in that situation because. Weird things happen, and even if you don't mean to hurt someone, it's still a possibility. But you would steal a salad for yourself when you're not starving. That's right. Because guess okay. what? But but not for your starving child. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Just I just wanted to make sure we all knew what we were talking about here. I'm, I was also 18 at the time. Not... You know, I was so at the time. All right, Carol's got a big oh, look at this. Frank's almost no, drowned in, 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 we go. in this comment. I'm not uh, talking about someone who has options. I'm talking about someone who doesn't have, is living on the street and is and is nowhere near. Maybe, maybe they're not in a you know a place that has that kind of you know uh, those kinds of options, and they they're trying to feed their family, but they can't. They they work a job, but they have to keep the lights on. They have to keep a roof on the, over their head. And they can't, you know, maybe literally their kid is going to bed hungry and they grab an apple off of a cart, you know? Yeah. Maybe you'd probably feel bad about it, but at least your kid now has something to eat. It's not the end of the world. And I feel like everybody, I don't know why that's to, to, stealing something to, to, to feed a starving child. I don't think is a crime. It should, it should be. Well, it goes back to it goes also back to a lot of the other issues of, you know, mental health help and uh, all the other things that are going on in the world. There's obviously root causes. Why is why are these people uh, homeless? There are 
millions of homeless people. Why? You yeah. Know, everybody has their own story. Um, you know, oh, Frank, the shop owner would feel different. If if the shop owner knew that there was a starving kid and wasn't, and he knew it wasn't a scam and the guy wasn't just trying to steal an apple for his own whatever, like just to get away with it, the shop owner, if he had a heart, would go here. Probably the help. Yeah. Most business owners actually do have hearts and, and would Honestly, probably help. It's an apple. He's they're not stealing a uh, a gold covered steak from a high end restaurant. He's stealing an apple that's fifty cents from a fucking you know. You're not bankrupting someone by stealing an apple for a starving kid. I don't understand why people don't understand that this is a, you know it's an apple compared to the child literally starving. I'm not talking about. <laughs> Uh, I, want, I want a snack, Daddy. Okay, let me steal an apple for you. I'm not talking about that. You know, if a kid is well fed, but they're just like hungry. No, I'm talking about a starving kid that needs food. You, I, th I, I would think morally, it's probably not a sin or a crime, or it shouldn't be a crime, to take an apple and give it. To you're you. saying you it shouldn't. It. It, it shouldn't be counted in my five strikes and you're out. Rule. It should not be counted. I, that, I mean, I'm just saying. Feed, Can I also say, I feel like we're onto something. Hungry. I it's feel like we're onto something with all these rules and things that we're putting forth right now because, you know. It's going to be doing, in my book. I think we're doing better than the politicians are doing with five strikes and you're out, a little more leniency if you're stealing apples to feed your kids, so on and so forth. And once a knife gets introduced, it's a different story. I think we're building something here. That's all I'm saying. The thing is, um, Carol, she does have a point. These people are not stealing apples to feed their children. They're stealing sneakers and electronics and bigger items. Who are items. we talking about? Who are we talking about? I'm saying well, I, this guy wasn't out stealing. I don't know what he was doing, but he he got pulled over in a car. So clearly he was up to something wrong. This oh, wasn't that's a, this bad. wasn't anything 100%. like yeah. I'm not talking about anybody who does who commits a crime for crime. You know, just to the. To steal something, you know, I'm talking about Anthony. You, would, the reason I'm talking about this is because Anthony was saying the that there's strike. a the five strike rule. I'm talking about, you know, if someone commits a small crime for the good of a a starving child, that shouldn't count towards the five strikes. That's all I'm saying. I'm not talking about people who commit crimes because they, you know, want to steal something or or they're part of a gang or whatever the case may be. I'm not talking about those people. Yeah, like well, all right, let's so let's get back to talking about I'm talking that. Talking about there are levels of crime. Right. Let's get back to talking about that though because I feel like the I feel like this this comp's death should be enough to take a look at this bail reform bill and and or maybe and, the bodies that were chopped up, but they're not. <laughs> Yeah, it feels it feels a little like I would love to see. And the the unfortunate thing is when you do studies like this, it takes years. But I mean, I would love to see like the early thoughts on this, because I don't know if anybody is comfortable with. Yeah, let these criminals go free. It's, you know, I just don't know if this is working, uh, given that, you know, this guy, this cop, I mean, this cop didn't do anything. You know, this could have been any yeah, average 100%. Joe person. It seems no, very silly. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, I don't know what we're trying to fix here, but um, it doesn't, you know, I don't we know. We don't if have it right yet. I don't think we have it right. I really don't think we have it right. And it's bad. It's a bad look for the Democrats because they're on the side of this stuff. And it, it gives the Republicans the opportunity to to run on shit. And this is what they're going to run on is law and order. Mm -hmm. So that's that's rich. Yeah. That's fucking rich from the, the head of the Republican Party having 91 felony accounts. F felony counts against oh my. Them. And you always bring it back to Trump. You always No, I didn't. Yeah, he, he said did. Republicans. This is what Republicans are running on. He, we have an election he, coming he, this year. No, Who on, am I going to talk about? It should be all about me. Everything should be about me anyway. That's you just always, fantastic. And I know, I know Janine likes to say, oh, I'm not this or that, or I'm not rooting for this. But you always defend Trump and you never defend Biden. So that's, you know, we pick, you've picked a side. So let's not pretend. I don't it. always defend Trump. But you, you pretty always... much do. Anytime anything comes up about him, you always go with the well, I don't see Biden. And it's like, all go right. Ahead. <laughs> what? It's just, well, you always lump Republicans into. I didn't see, bring I up don't Republicans. do that, though. He I, did. 
I, no, but you always do that. What did I do? And I never. You do said that. Republicans are going to run based on law and order. I did. And say I said, that. I That's said right. the head of the Republican Party has ninety-one counts against him. Yeah, but what that law doesn't and count. Order? Those don't, oh, those counts okay. don't count. Those counts don't count. Got it. <laughs> okay, we're not. We're, we're looking the other way on that. Though. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It was uh, you know, if it were ninety-two counts, yeah, that would be a different story. But ninety-one. Or ninety four. I don't care. I lost. I lost count on all the counts. You lost count on the counts. You lost the count. Count. God. <laughs> I'm. I'm just. You know. Every and every time I bring them up, it's. It's. I get attacked for it. It's like. Well, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about Republicans running an elect. Uh, their side of an election. And well, that's who's the I'm, big Republican that's all, running? That's around? all I'm saying is they're going to use this because they don't have a lot going into the next election. They don't have women's reproductive rights. Nope. They don't have, uh, you know, um, what's the other thing? Shit, I just had something. I just completely lost, my, left my head. The gun, anything, with, uh, you know, anybody against, uh, anybody for no. guns, guns, gun laws? Uh, no, I forgot. Anything else? Immigration, people who... Uh, well, they're going to run on immigration, too, which is the biggest pile of bullshit because every Republican and Democrat president hasn't done a goddamn thing about that. Immigration, illegal immigration has been a problem for decades. 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 And number two, when the Democrats and Biden, they put forth a bill saying, here's the here, let's let's fix it. Here's the, the bill. All the all the Republicans listened to Trump. Trump said, don't vote for that bill. He literally told them, do not vote for this bill. Vote it down. You could blame it on me. They voted it down. So there was no movement on immigration. Democrats came up with a bill. They said, here we go. Here's funding for the border. We're going to work on it. We're going to put more men down there. We're going to put funding down there, and it's going to it's gonna help. Every Republican voted it down because Trump told them to, because they wouldn't have anything to run on. If Biden was taking care of the border and doing something, they wouldn't be able to look, point to the border and go, oh, see, they're, they're screwing up the border. So they voted it down because it doesn't work for their campaign. That's exactly what happened. Christine, I'm sorry. You're saying, nope, not at all, but that's exactly what happened. You could see, you could go look at all uh, what the uh, um I don't know Trump if she's told. responding to you. I think she's responding to somebody in the chat. Nope. She's, nope, she's, she's responding she's demo- to you. Take it back. I said, I'll sit back and shut up. <laughs> Uh, that's what it was. There was not that much other stuff. What other stuff was in it? Tell me what other stuff was in the in the bill. But they had a bill, and they the only reason it was voted down was because Trump told all the Republicans vote it down, uh, and you could blame illegal immigration on me. That that did happen, um, but um, I feel like I've lost the direction of where this topic was going to go, and that that's okay. Um, but um, trying to get it back on track, I I think the bail reform thing is an issue, and I think it leaves an opening for Republicans versus Democrats. That's all. Um, and I also think it's not working, and I don't think anybody particularly feels safe with this kind of stuff out there. Like if a cop can get blown away, you know, that has... Um, residual yeah, no, effect on everything it's absolutely t- whenever person in law enforcement gets hurt or or god forbid gets killed it's absolutely terrible it's tragic whenever anybody gets killed it's tragic um you know um it's i understand people being upset with the local laws and hokel and i get that i totally do it's terrible how do I get Janine back on the show and out of the chat? <laughs> I don't know. Janine, how do we get you back on here? What do you mean mention him every time? I mention him because he's a big topic. He's in the news literally every day. To be fair, I brought him up this time. And I didn't bring him up. I re- You know, to be fair, if you look back, I feel like I bring him up maybe 50% of the time. Maybe Maybe 60. You but- blaming me? <laughs> I'm blaming you. Okay. No, when it comes, it just comes up. I'm not blaming you. It comes point. up in the stories. This is what it is. This is the story, you know, and why wouldn't we talk about the person, you know, that's in the news literally every day? Well, he did play himself into this particular story. 
And right. like I said before, I, I think he did a masterful job with this one. I don't blame him for going to. That's a yeah. Go to the funeral. That's a good move. It's thoughtful. It's great. Um, I just he did. You know, mount that. You know, I, I'm sorry. I just can't defend this guy. He's just when he does four million things wrong and he gets one thing right, sort of. I can't go. Oh well, he's a good guy then. Well, I'm not saying he's a good guy. I'm just saying he. He won this week. He won the. He won yeah. the um. What you call it? He won the, whatever the week's tallies. Let's go to. Christine, um, no, I'm sorry, and then Christine in the chat. Frank, you equate all Republicans with Trump, and not all Republicans are Trump. No, not all Republicans are Trump, and I'm not saying all Republicans. I'm play, I'm saying the people in charge, the uh, the Senate and the, the you know Congress, the, the Republican leaders all follow Trump. Because he says to do something, they jump on board. No matter what they feel about it. The only person that I kind of gained a little more respect for, Republican-wise, was, and I disagree with almost everything he says, <laughs> It was is the form, is Mike Pence when he said, I, I can in good conscience support Trump. That was at least admirable. I and, found that admirable, too. And, you know, that was he, had, he showed a little bit of, of guts there. Which I wish he would have done when he was running for the Republican nomination. Yeah, because that's what people don't understand about Trump. People think that it's just screaming at him that's mixing it up with him. It's not. Trump has balls, and Mike Pence being up there calling him out then would have been balls. Now I could appreciate it and I commend but, it like you do, but that's the kind of thing that wins little... you points with Trump's crowd. It's a little too little, too late kind of the thing. I mean, right. I. I understand. Yeah, tr Pence is not going to vote for him. or not going to support him. But if Pence got, Great. what I'm saying is, if Pence got up but, there and goes, I can't in good conscience support this guy because A, I did everything right in our administration, and B, he's off his fucking rocker for thinking that this election was fixed when he blew it from the gate. I think some of the Trump people would have been like, holy shit, look at this guy. Look at this guy coming out swinging. Like maybe yeah. there's something more to this guy. I think he yeah. should have done it back then. He definitely should have done it back then. I mean, maybe around the time that uh, his supporters tried to hang him. I don't know. That could have been a good time. Maybe when Trump said, uh, do the right thing and not threatened, but like was like, let's do the right thing. And let's let's all go down to to uh, down the hill and make sure they, that he does the right. You know, it's like I, I just don't understand anybody's support for this guy. I don't get it. It doesn't add up. And he could, there are people that he could do no wrong, no matter what wrong thing he does, like, I don't know, mash together the Bible and all the political documents, like the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, put them all into one thing and sell them for 60 bucks. Oh, I can't wait to support buy that. his trial. It's going to be great. You know why? Are you fucking kidding me? We finally have somebody that's willing to put church and state together. And I think that's, that's about time, huh? Admirable. I think that that only good can come from that. That's right? my opinion. I'm going to sell golden shoes and the Bible mixed with the government. Janine, do you have any last care. thoughts on this before we absolutely have to move on? Um, I'll just say that I don't think that what Frank said is that the senators and all the other politicians agree with him, right? And that, you know, they're for him. But that's mm -hmm. the whole thing. That's what they're supposed to do. And it's not, it no. doesn't matter if there's Republicans, they go for the Republican candidate. If there's Democrats, they go for the Democratic candidate. That's just how it goes. Like, even if but they it's don't, wrong. it is wrong. But even if they don't agree with them, they still do it. Which they is still do it. Cowardly and, it's and, for either, and it's fucked for, up. And it's for either side. That's why it's dumb because you think I'm a complete. Republican, but I'm not because I agree with both things from both sides. So that's why it's dumb. Like I'm not call no, I'm not saying that you're my my point is that well you when I said to you Trump that I every other time every time I, don't I defend him, but you at every chance you get you jump on him. But it doesn't yeah, matter if I it do. was him or anyone else, you just have a hatred for him, and that's fine. It's not but hatred. Here's the thing. It's you think a, that I follow everything that he does and agree with everything no, that he does. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I don't <laughs> think I agree. That. 
I don't think you agree with everything he says, but for some reason, whenever I say something negative about him, you defend him or you go, oh, here we go. Or yeah, I don't you... defend him. I go, here we go, because you do. At every every chance you get, you do, but you just admitted that. But it doesn't matter. Like, to, to me, and because you do think that because... I don't think there's anything wrong with what either of you are saying or doing, to be honest. But here's the thing, though. He... Frank thinks that because he even said because I said I am pro-choice and he's like you are I'm surprised but you're a Republican first of all I never said I was I agree with both things from both sides so and I think a lot of people are like that but because they are in political power then they they have to you know pretend and it's it's stupid but that's the way this country is they have to pretend they're all for this or all against the side and reality, they're no, not. I, Paul brings I, up a good point. He goes, Pence refused to get in the car with Trump's Secret Service on January 6th. Do you remember that? That's true. Yeah. I feel like that was one of those moments where, like, you know when we study history and we would be like, how did that happen? And everybody just went on, like, living a normal life when that's something that we actually just went on. <laughs> like, we all went to work the next day. Like yeah, we all, that, that would be like major news thing. on in any other universe. But for some reason... Pence not trusting his Secret Service in that moment. That's just, scary as fuck. Everybody's like, eh, all right. Well, and so Rhonda, to your point, of... no. I, when did I call Republicans name by names? I may have. I may call people in Congress and and in the government, the leaders. But I, I'm not calling ordinary citizens. I don't think I have by by. Any names? Uh, well, if, Frank is friends with plenty of Republicans. To be fair, like Janine, right? See, <laughs> <laughs> and I used to be on the on the you know I used Frank to be was like, a Republican. Oh, I used to be like, oh, I see, you know, Republican Democrat. I, I get that. I used to talk a... to Frank and be like, women should have a right to choose, and he'd be like, fuck that. Okay, true story. Uh, I under like I used to be very all right. I could see positives on either side, but. In the past six years, seven, eight years, it's been very, there's no reason to be, on in my, for my own personal beliefs, there's no reason to be a Republican for me. It doesn't work for me. I don't get anything positive out of their side. I don't understand their points of view. And I, I, they've, I, I've heard explanations. I've heard people plead their case. And I don't understand it. I, I can't get on that. Because it's, I see two sides. The two sides I see are Republican, and Republican for me, from my point of view, always just worry about the the bottom line, money wise, and they and the Democrats care about. I mean, I'm sure Republicans care about the people and human, uh, uh, but for some reason, whenever anything Democratic happens uh, from the Democrat side, it always goes towards you know people's benefit, not not the not the wallet um mm, okay. all right let's go to the next thing we good i'm good everybody good yep no uh, we, we know about that but go ahead next one <laughs> okay if you want to add anything to it go ahead i don't have anything to add really okay now bethany frankel got punched what happened there <laughs> frank wants to move on frank's like well i think we all i mean definitely gonna be punching the side table tonight or whatever in his sleep whatever it's called <laughs> the, oh, night pillow. the night stand no i think it's fine look, i think he's not even laughing he's pissed he's i think pissed i'm not pissed him. Ooh, look at him. yeah I'm you are pissed. I can tell. i'm fine I'm what happened to bethany i have Franklin. a question for you i'm upset because i said we, i would never go down this path again and we got there we got there somehow and I, that's not what i intended go ahead judy do you think Republicans, wait, yes. Do you think Republicans only care about themselves? No, I think, oh, oh you're not talking to me. Sorry. No, Frank. No. Do you I think Republicans think so. just care about themselves? No. Okay. They're more selfish than Democrats, though. No, I think Am I wrong to say that? I think Republicans' main... No, I think one of their main focuses is is fiscal is responsibility, fiscal. which, and the, which and eliminates main focus is, social programs. Right, social programs, and uh, that's not wrong to say, is it? No, I think that's a big thing. 
Uh, let's just yeah agree to disagree. But I've said Thank that you, we need Diane. you need let's move those on. things. You can't make a program for every last human being. Although we'd want to, you can't. You could, it can't be done. Somebody has to come with the checkbook and say we, we got to prioritize some things here. Well, we have programs for some people. We have programs sit in place and taxes yeah. pay for it. Let me can, let me bring this back around. Hochul fucked up with this bill reform and it needs to be right. fixed. Okay, Beth Bethany Frank, Frank punched got punched in the, in the face. face. All right. Lots of people in New York are getting punched in the face for some reason. Here's why I like it. Let me explain something to everybody. Do I think it's good that women are getting punched in the face? No. But uh, they started with one TikTok girl, and they arrested the dude. Did you know that the NYPD had to put out several statements saying we arrested the guy? Because TikTok goes so like in waves that people were yeah. getting mad after the dude was already arrested. They put out like three statements. Like we Wait. are aware. So it was one <laughs> guy doing wrestling. all this. Well, it was one guy that did the first girl. Then okay. 11 other girls, 10 other girls started doing it, including Bethany Frankel. And I still, I called bullshit. I was like, I think this is just like a trend. Cause that kind of what happens on TikTok. Cause like three of the girls I saw had, nothing wrong with their face two of the girls i saw and the first girl had a big knot on our head believable the other one had a black eye okay i think you got punched in the face the other ones were just like i got punched in the face i think some of these girls were just clout chasing but anyway my point is this why this is maybe not the worst thing in the world now frank and janine and i we all grew up in new york here in the late 80s early 90s Every time we left our house, I felt like I have to be careful that I don't get punched in the face. Like every day commuting from high school, I was like, is today the day I get punched? There was always. Why, did, a why were you afraid of that? Oh, there was always a threat of being punched in the face. I feel like whenever we were on mass transit or out in the world or in the city, you were always like, is that guy going to punch me in the face? Is that guy going to punch me? Like it was, you were always like on guard. Mm -hmm. I, I, I and I don't think know. I was always, we were always a little bit. I don't know. We were always with with each other. We always had our friends around. I, I wasn't really. Still doesn't mean you're not gonna get punched in the face. Yeah, but I wasn't as worried uh, about it. I understand why women, you know, especially if a woman is by or anybody really by themselves walking around. But we had a bunch of we had a, going home. We had groups of friends that we went home with, so that that helped. But I feel like. um the, you know, when someone's walking by themselves, subway, anything like that, a man or a woman, yeah, it's, 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 it could be, it could be scary sometimes. You don't know what, what who's around the corner. Well, <clears throat> the guy who they arrested, of course, was arrested twice in December on assault charges. So here we go. It goes back to the same thing. But was he, was he, he go ahead. He, he was um, recording himself like um following these women and then other people had recordings of him like pretending to punch women um on the subway but not doing it like you know what i mean like going at them but then not doing it so yeah sorry he, he obviously has mental issues needs to be locked up someplace don't know where but uh i just it's just annoying like i don't even care if this guy hurt her, like if this guy was around it's just annoying there's no reason and he thinks it's funny the guy he thinks it's funny jack me off is backing you up by the way thanks for the super chats before jack me off the thanks dude has a tiktok account i watched it and he said and he also said yeah. and this is true i read this he's run he, the guy said he was run or has run for mayor in the past yep. he's a total nut wow. job yep he's a total nut job uh mercury i was punched in the face in the subway in the 90s was pissed because i was by the door and he did it just as the doors were closing motherfucker Jeez, what the yeah. hell so that's sorry mercury that's fucked up yeah but you know what mercury is a better person for it right we all get what punched in the face sometimes i'm just saying i'm just you saying, don't have to be a you don't have you don't need some people you don't need a punch in the face to be a better person sometimes now, see, it makes you a worse person if you get punched in the face you get more cynical <laughs> Here's the thing. Maybe he might, he might think it's funny, but what if he punches someone the wrong way and actually kills them? 
punches him. You don't know. In yeah, the spot. This is, this is the second him. time you went to this well. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, well, you're it taking is, it to the extreme listen, every time. No, you're right. And listen, I, obviously, I'm kidding. I don't want people to get punched in the face. My only point of this joke is when we were growing up, there was, a, oh, I feel, I feel like, and to hear Frank not agree with me is a little shocking. That there was always a threat of like something bad was going to happen to you. Maybe I mean Frank I and I had different that. parents. Your what do you mean was... when you took the the Q11 with all the other white kids? Is that okay? No, I, that, that has nothing to do with anything. It's just I always felt like, and again, I I was bringing this to our parents. Like Frank's mom was always very well rounded and level headed. No, I'm sure. Were you were you scared on the bus? Such, no? I didn't grow up with that. I I I was raised to fear everything. Were you really? I'm, now, I'm not kidding now I you. Feel, now I think it's I coming understand. through. If I went home by myself. Well, yeah, with the fact that nobody's backing me up. <laughs> no, if, I, if if you went home by yourself on the first, we'd take two. I think we've uh, it was two subway trains or one subway train and two buses or something like that. It was a combination of subway and, and a bus yeah. to get home. And if I went home by myself, yeah, I'd, I'd be not not like. You know, shaking, but I'd I'd have my uh, my guard up a little. No, I wasn't shaking, that. but I, uh, even in a crowd. See, you feel comfortable in the crowd. I, I crowd of friends, like, yeah. If we're all I surrounded, felt like chatting. Somebody could come up to any one of us and just we boom, we'd be right in it. I mean, that I did happen why. a couple of times. No, nothing no, like didn't. There was some close confrontations from people that were. Uh, I remember there were like fights, but it was from people who had issues with each other that knew each other that it wasn't a random shit no but there was one guy who came up to our friend who turned into a cop who was starting a bunch of shit and we were all standing there like wait like all right this is gonna go down like you know like if, if this yeah, guy gets hit we all we're all in it now we all gotta fucking jump in here yeah but it I, did nothing I, happen but it was close but before or after that i was never really worried about it i was like when's what are, what are the odds someone's gonna pick a fight with people that are in a huge group we usually were with i don't know six seven other people you know it wasn't like we were it was one or two of us there were a bunch of us and i you know i didn't feel thre threatened or anything in any way really I, there was never any oh we got to watch out because there's a bunch of crazy people at the other end of the train you know it was another we never knock on wood we were lucky we never ran into anything like that i, I don't i feel like we ran into a crazy person every day I don't know what train or bus you were taking, but we we were we were a bunch of friends that took the train and bus home, and I never I never ran into that. I don't remember any of that. Uh, I felt like back then, and even earlier than then, it was like you went out in New York, you, you would just keep that head on a swivel because somebody could just come up and deck you, and, and it'd be over. Again, Aaron, in the eighties, it was definitely the case. Yeah, Aaron in, in the chat because uh, uh, you ever remember that uh, from the Wedding Singer? We said we quote this. We do this quote to each other all, all the time. I got punched in the face for sticking my nose in other people's business. Remember that? You remember that? No, I don't remember that. You don't remember the wedding singer when he does that? No. When the guy, the fiance, punches Adam Sandler in the face? Oh, no, I don't. I have to watch uh, that movie again. Hey, wedding singer, you know this song? I got punched in the face. <laughs> Which, was it John Lovitz or no? No, no, no. It was no, the main... Guy, her her fiance that she was supposed to marry but didn't. I can't picture his face right now. I gotta go back and watch that movie. Mm. All I remember you from didn't that ask is me if I was scared to go on the subway. Were you scared? No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you said I'm not the only meow here? And yeah, I and I wanted please... you. To... Oh, okay, there you go. That you highlighted the wrong comment. There's a lot. There's a lot of comments to highlight. Uh, no, I never was scared. Honestly, and I think I took one of the more tough train lines. And I don't know. I've just never, I never was scared, but I'm also, let me see. I'm also always aware of my surroundings. I'll say that. Yeah, listen, I don't know if I was scared. Like, I didn't not do it, but I was out there every day. Like, I would get home and go, I didn't get fucked up today. That's a good day. This is but, a good day. But that never happened ever. You know, you didn't get fucked up any day. Like it could have happened. Right. <laughs> yeah, anything could. A media Let could me hit you. you who my favorite person anything is. could happen anytime. 
It's Erin who recognizes. She says, between getting <laughs> drugged and taking the subway, we're lucky to have you, man. You better believe it. I'm, it's by the grace I'm of here. God that you even made, survived that Thank that you. hour subway ride that, <laughs> and, and train and bus. Oh my goodness! That, that that nothing, literally nothing, ever happened the four years we did that. I'm just saying. And you I were so afraid of nothing. I don't, I don't like to see women punched in the face. However, yeah, no, I don't either. I feel like this is a little bit more reminiscent of a time that we were in when everything was a little bit more like everybody was a little bit more aware of what's happening. I, feel I like see what so you're saying. You're saying that uh, people have um, let their guard up. Well, we were tougher back then. Now I feel like the city right. is filled with people who moved here from Wisconsin and they're going to make it big in the big city. And that's like, you know what? You might get punched in the face. OK, so just I wonder if how they feel like before before this punching, like, are they scared to go to the big city or like, you know what I mean? Like, not not scared. I don't know. My point is, is okay. Let me let me give you this scenario. The both of you. Let me give you this scenario. Uh, I tell you that um, somebody I know went into the city and they got punched in the face years ago when we were growing up. I go, yeah, my friend, my other friend, goes to the city. Boom, punched in the face. Are either of you shocked or surprised? No. Thank you. Today we're like, oh, can you believe this? Like, I think, no, you know why? If you, I think if, it was a bunch of women at the same time. And in fact, I would think you would both say, what did they do? Or where were right. they? What did no, they I do would to say, put what? themselves no. in that position? If you told me a friend what of yours got wearing? punched <laughs> if you told me a friend of yours got punched in the face on the subway or whatever, I would say, What happened? What are you talking about? Frank, I'd be, would be, I'd like, be shocked. I'd be concerned. Me, please tell me her name starts with J. <laughs> No. Was it Janine? Was she stealing a salad at the That's time? That's the other thing. I don't know why Janine thinks I don't like her. I, I don't get she that. really does. And and I don't think that you don't like her. You don't this kind of feels like an intervention. Right. I think <laughs> I think Frank thing. likes you just fine. I think Janine is convinced that you do not like her. I don't her. know why. I I I don't I don't understand that. I, I have, uh, you're one of my one of my friends, one of my closer friends. What's that, interesting I, about that is I believe everything you're saying is true and ironically I don't really like her, which nobody ooh, seems to give see? a shit about. That's the see? you're not recognizing that. You're focused on me. Focus yeah. here. There's the compassionate caring person even though you may disagree on things whereas yeah, focus I up there. cannot stand you at all. He hates you. Like uh, when when you're not on, th when he talks about you, holy yeah. shit, Oof. it's terrible. The only reason why I put up with this is because you're the, some of the people like you out there. You're good for the numbers, so that's why I put up with it. See, but other than that, <laughs> I couldn't give a shit about numbers. I don't know what numbers we're talking about. And I'll tell you why. It's not born out of nothing. But my grandfather lost his uh, salad deli years ago. Uh, so due to theft, and then to have somebody flaunt that in my face all these years later. Right. So that I've hurts. never gotten over it. It's tough. Your poor family. So what are your Easter plans? Stealing a salad's a crime, Frank. That's all I'm saying. Mm. True. But according Listen, to you... It was to feed my starving self. They should be allowed to run rampant. Yeah, I know. It's a world 18 gone and crazy. under, that's a child. It's a world gone crazy. Um... Where was I going with all this? Yeah, so now Bethany Frankel's like, I got punched in the face. Which annoys me a little bit, too, because it's like, can't we let the young tiktokers have anything without some celebrity coming in and be like that happened to me too i'll be honest i didn't believe her at first well also the I, timeline is fuzzy janine did you hear when this happened he said Sorry, a couple Frank. of months ago but i don't know if i really believe that or not. yeah see I, that's what i'm saying unless it's in the last week shut the fuck up go ahead frank you, I, I cut you off I, no i i think it's good when a celebrity comes in and goes yeah that happened to me i you know because then it draws more attention to it number one number two it uh you know these uh celebrities have well i guess it's the same it's not number one in them too. it's all number one they have huge following you know followers and they, they'll they'll be able to get more eyes on this situation if it gets out of hand or whatever out of hand is you know one person but if it becomes a huge uh problem in the city then more you know more people will be aware of it so i think when a celebrity jumps in and says yeah um, i'm aware of this this happened to me as well i think that's a that's a plus all right, Paul right. writes, I lived in New York City 15 years and only had a gun in my face once. I feel like every New Yorker has this story. I mean, I've never had a gun in my face, but. That's impressive. I've never, knock on wood, I've never had a gun in my face. My wife has held a knife to my throat several times. Does that count? 
I could, I could, I could attest to that. That's true. <laughs> Look at you, like you probably deserved it. Uh, jack me off. This woman hates you, Frank, and you find it irresistible. <laughs> Seinfeld, Seinfeld reference. Seinfeld reference. It's irresistible. Jack me off has like seven Seinfeld references this episode. All right, we've got to move on from this. Too few. Um, I'm putting together Easter. Frank, you're traveling for Easter. You're going somewhere for Easter. Uh, going. Uh, with my in-laws, we're going to a restaurant for Easter. Uh, Janine, what are you doing for Easter? Hopefully getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> is that part of uh, you and your, your roommates she like it. thing? Is that, do, you, do you enjoy it? Is that a, a turn on? She would, she would be like, I got punched in the face. Do you have surveillance footage? Because I want to see if I can meet the guy. Go out on a date with him. How old? <laughs> is he 75 years old? Because then... Over. Are you hosting, Janine? Or are you going somewhere else? Nope. Gotta go to Queens. Yay. I'm hosting Easter and um That's a bitch. I don't know how many more I have in me. I gotta be honest with you. No, you gotta carry the torch, man. You, I, you know yeah. remember when we were younger, you always go to the same house for Easter. Yeah. Yeah. And that was it was like twenty people or whatever it was. And, yeah. And it was that for a couple of decades. Yeah. And then that stopped, and now it's your. You now you have to carry the torch. And that's how I felt, and I, I was so like that 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 force was strong within me, mm. and now I'm just like, I don't know. It's so ex. I don't know how my grandmother did it for all those years, and then my mother, right. and then like it's and my aunt, like and my uncle still does. Like it's just insane it's to me. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, and. Like it's great. I hope. I, I think I'll feel great about it tomorrow when it's happening. Okay, but here's what I almost punched some people in the face today. I've been to BJ's seventeen times in the last three days. Like, it's always like, oh, we got to get. The, we just like I keep going back. I go today, and you know, most people go to BJ's. They have a cart, me, myself included, a cart with like five hundred things in it. Sure. I go to BJ's today. I have a salad bag. I have. A bag of green beans and I have a meat thermometer. I have three items. Why'd you even go to BJ's? Well, I also have a. Uh, I had a, a bubble guns, like guns that make bubbles. I got got that for the kids. Okay. I I had to go to BJ's. I was in the area. Connell's calls me. She goes. Um, I was going to BJ's anyway for gas because I'm in the BJ's gas club. I don't know why anybody needs to know that. But she goes, we need a meat thermometer. I go, I'll pick one up at BJ's. I think they have one. So I go in and I get literally four items. Okay? Four items. Hmm. Now, flawless BJ's experience, I pay my bill. I gather my goods. I start to make my way out. And when I tell you, without exaggeration, there is a line of at least 40 people Waiting to get out of BJ's to have their... Oh, the, you have to look at the receipt. Little receipt checked. Yeah. No, I'm like, I have four things in my hand. Can I just... Nope. Blow by this? And I really wanted to. I ultimately didn't, and I was angry at myself the entire car ride home because I was like, this is fucking... Re it is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I in my mind, you know, when you envision the problem in your mind, in my mind, I was walking out of the store going, call the cops on me. Like, I don't give a fuck. What I don't understand is you go from the register to the exit door. What's gonna happen in between there? You can can you grab something else on the way out? I guess it's because like if you go through the self-checkout or you stuff something that the, the person at the register didn't see. Can I tell you why? Yes, please. it all comes down to the criminals again <laughs> because honestly what people do at self-checkout is they'll only scan a few things in their cart and leave i get that yeah but i, I, I forgot feel, about but, the self-checkout but but i feel like janine this was around before self-checkout like the checking of the bj's receipt i feel is as old as bj's itself which is predates self-checkout it is because um again it is with stealing people will one person will go online and the other person will have things in their hand and they'll just meet them on the side. Yeah. Like on that line. So I get it. caught someone. 
with that. Oh, this isn't on the receipt. Where is it? Well, I saw yeah. it the other day in Stu Leonard's, actually. Get they the got fuck someone? out of here. Where to God? The guy in front of me had two huge um, Snapple um, cases. And the security... Wasn't me, was it? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And the guy, um, shit, it's ten twenty two already. The guy, um, he was, he's like, let me see your receipts. Said to the guy, and so the customer was like, oh, I didn't even realize he never scanned it. And he goes like, oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So they had to go back and pay for it. Now, do I think that he forgot to pay for it? I really don't know. Mm. I didn't get a good enough look at him to judge him. Secretly. What if? Here's a question. What if you, you pay for your stuff, you get the receipt, and then you hap, uh, absentmindedly crumple the receipt and throw it out like there's a garbage on the way out or whatever? Like you're at Target and there's the there's the Pizza Hut or whatever is there and you throw Target it Target doesn't do that. Or wh wherever you go. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, you throw out the receipt and then you get to the door and they're yeah, checking Yeah, what happens? Uh, that's, Walmart, exactly, that's what I was saying. Walmart. Like... Can I tell you what I saw the other day in Walmart? Because now they do this in Walmart. Self-checkout. Or it doesn't matter because they can't tell if you did self check it or not. Guy went and so at Walmart now you can either have the receipt printed, sent to your phone, or sent to your email. Sure. So the guy obviously he stole something. So he when he went to go to this pest security guard, security guard's like, "Where's your receipt?" He goes, "I don't know. I left it over there." Guy's like, "Go get it." So he he was looking through every register to try to see if anyone left their receipt behind so i guess he found one and left i didn't pay attention after that but this happens all the time and there's people who they will steal and they'll scan half their cart <laughs> and then go what do you it's so stupid it's so stupid <laughs> jack me off goes tricks. does bj gives five strikes maybe let me tell you something. I would have ate one of those strikes today. I was so fucking pissed off standing on that line of 40 people with four fucking items in my hand. Just Were those waiting. four items easily distinguishable or was it like a mess of stuff? No. It, like I said, it was two veggie bags. Two veggie bags. And a, a, a meat thermometer and a box with the, the bubble guns. You probably could have just went, walked by and said, here, here's and, and four here. things. I know. And then I felt like everybody would have been like, this dick, you know? Probably. Or or the old lady. I didn't want to get into a conversation. Ultimately, why I decided not to do it is because the lady that was checking it seemed like a nut bar. I mean, you have to oh, be I don't know why they wouldn't put, to take that job. I don't know why they wouldn't put a couple of people on that if the line is 20 people long. So fucking huge. And then the manager came over and spoke to her. Because I think she was supposed to go on break and maybe they didn't have enough people or whatever. Because and because she like shook her head no when the manager walked away. I don't know what was happening. I was so fucking angry because I was like, this is ridiculous. And and when you think about it, there are people that are just literally bashing through CVS and grabbing shit and walking right the fuck out. Yet we're all standing online at BJ's like, oh, I gotta do this. This is a rule. It's not a fucking rule. It's not a fucking rule that we have to follow. Well, you kind of do. <laughs> it is. I think it is store policy that they must check your receipt, but they don't always do it, though. I, f I feel like I've left oh, stores yeah. where BJ's, they've done it, and then they BJ's don't do definitely. it. Not a BJ. BJ's always, no. All right. always. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. And here's what drives me the craziest. This is where this is the people now. At the this is they they go. Yeah, they. They're not even fucking doing it. That's They're not even true. really doing it. I think they have to. They they do a general. All right, this is the amount of stuff. This yeah. is kind of the amount of stuff on the receipt, and that's that. I think What's they the want point? to make sure you actually went to the register. Right. That infuriates me even farther. Because what's the point? What I are we know. even doing at this point? It's all for show. Who the hell knows? You know what? You're a billion dollar company. You're gonna. Have, there's gonna be some leakage. Get the fuck over it. All right. That's that's yeah. all there is to it. All right, what twin? What twins got married? <laughs> the conjoining twins, right? So it's they're it's like one body, they, two they're heads. Legally, two people. Uh, like are they? They're two separate. All I want to know is: everything? is this guy having a threesome every night? Because it feels like he's found a way to cheat mm. his way into a threesome. I don't. I don't know. 
without having to really physically convince. I mean, like, they're two brains, so it's, it is two people. Two brains, two hearts. I'm not sure. I don't know where the the divide is, but it's legal. Like if it's two legally two people, or, is, or are they considered they're considered two people? I don't know. I just chose not to read the article because I felt right. like I can make more jokes if I didn't know what actually is happening. So, in other words, could could he he married both of them, not just one of them? I yeah, I think so. Okay. Which hole? Never mind. Like, nice. No, we're all wondering the same thing, Janine. Which hole are the is one calling? You know. Well, I don't know if like. I don't think. I think there's own. only one vagina. Is there only one vagina? But is there a special like? Is it hole? Technically, is he marrying two people? Can you even marry two people? That's if you're my not in Utah? That's my point. Like, what's the point? What is there an exception made here? Because you know, if he he wants to marry both of them, I guess if it's if they're two people. Yeah, how many birth certificates do they have? Here's what drives me crazy too. People are already shaming people for asking these questions. Like these are, you don't come at it's, me with a conjoined just, twin wedding and act like nobody's gonna have some fucking questions. Just questions. There's not nothing. Nothing wrong with that. Trying not to be insult. I just want to know. I don't want to know physical. You know. No, I do. Anthony does, but that's none of anybody's business but their own. My question is: Is he technically marrying two people? Because it seems that would be the case. And is that just a, you know, an exception that's been made uh, wherever they live? Or is that a f okay thing? Uh, I think it's, you know, whatever. The, it's fine, but. Here's what I think. Even if they do have one vagina, one of them is going to be upset one day and be like, you were having sex more with this side of the vagina than my side of the vagina. And I'm offended. I don't know how to even comment on that. That's what you, you've never had a wife that yells at you for looking at somebody. <laughs> okay. And I don't know about, you know, like. If I'm on TikTok and a girl is dancing and I don't immediately scroll. What are you looking at? Are you looking at her? Is that what you get? Yeah. Because I'll give everybody three or fast. four seconds up at the front to see if there's like a bit in here, if there's a joke we're all doing. Mm hmm. Cuddles doesn't care for that. She doesn't play that. I hear you. Oh, see? Don't come at me with a conjoined twin wedding and take the high road. New t-shirt idea. I like that. That's that's. Can I tell you something? Erin is the only one who's on in this episode. Everybody else is having a rough, <laughs> a rough game. You know, right. what, do you know what they need to do? You know those TikTok videos? We're conjoined twins. Of course we're going to. They need, they need, they need. Do, do they that. have a, do they have a presence, social media presence? Are they anywhere that we, I feel like people they follow, are. right? Do they, I don't know. I, I thought they got married already to two dudes. I thought oh, we I did know. this story already with them, but I, I don't know what's real and, and not anymore because the birds aren't real. That's true. I feel like I've heard about this, this pair, these sisters years ago, and I feel like they looked exactly the same. Is this, yeah, same twins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I thought they got married once already. Maybe it was just a prom. I don't know. Who knows? Who could keep track. I, I have no idea. Is this the same twins? I feel like back in the '90s there were twins that looked exactly like them, and we're. I don't know. It's like when you. It's just like when you run into a young cousin at a family function. Like, how's high school? And they're like, oh, I've been in college for four years. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Yeah, I can't All keep right. track of anything. Forgot and what's going on anyway. Who's to know? Um. All right, Discord. Raven, God, I hope Raven is still here. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Um, so explain to me. All right, I tried to join Discord. Is there a link that everybody can have? Like, how do they get onto our Discord? Does Aaron know this? Because I think Aaron's helping in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, I, I think it's just like signing up for anything. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Now, Paul, four-handed job. Who blows the guy? I don't know, man. Do you know See, what I'm saying? Who blows See, the guy? Do they both blow him? I, I, Are they I both given hand jobs? Dealer's what? choice? I don't know. How, how does that work? Do they have this I conversation? No. They're also siblings. It still feels a little. That's true too. That could be a little weird. But I'm sure they've listen. They got to do everything together, right? Like there was that. Um, remember what the show about the prostitutes in Vegas? Okay, I don't know where this is going. On that show, there were twin sisters. 
they would never do anything with each other, but they were still in the room with the people that they were sleeping with. Felt very weird to me. That's weird. The That's whole thing felt that. What's it called? That house. Ran it cat ranch. Ha cat house. Hot ranch. I think it's cool ranch, ranch dressing. <laughs> it's ranch dressing was the name of the show. Thank God Aaron's here. Um, no, what was it called? Cat house. No. Nope. Cat Bunny, house, ranch. Right. Bunny, Bunny ranch. Bunny ranch. There you go. Yeah, but that was the name of the rant. That was the name of the place. What was the name of the show? Um, cat, wasn't it Cat House? I don't remember. That guy died. Cat House. Was it Cat House? Yes. Wait. It was. So there was a Bunny Ranch on the Cat House. <laughs> the, the, the house was <laughs> the place was called the prostitution place was called. Oh God! You could watch it on Amazon Prime. So wait, there's a Bunny Ranch, right? Uh, and they but filmed a the show there and called it Cat House. I think they called it Cat House. They, they got to land on one. Metaf one animal and just run. Why? Why are they mixing it all up? Uh, just make it either cat house or bunny ranch. I don't. I can't. It's too keep much. All these things sh straight. That's why it's not. That's why it's not on anymore. That's probably the reason. I always hated that show though because like the madam in the show, yeah, was like so in love with the dude, and the dude just slept with the prostitutes. I'm like, so why? I think you watch the show more than you, Dennis oh, I did, Hall. more than you let on. Dennis Hoff thing. I did. I, I did. Because I, I always felt for that young lady. And she was always like the mom and like pretending. And she'd always be like, oh, Dennis this and Dennis that. I'm like, you're so in love with Dennis. And he's just banging younger broads. It was brutal. It was brutal to watch. <laughs> it was. I was you so tuned in. I felt so bad for her. I'm yeah, basically sure. telling everybody I, I read the articles in Playboy magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, wa I only watched Bunny Ranch for the articles. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, shit. All right. So the twins, I'm sure these this conjoined twins, they, they got to do everything together. Anyway, I don't understand the intimate parts of it. I don't want to know the intimate parts of it. He it's does. Tough. I tough. want to know. No, I'm curious. I, I don't want to know, but I, I need to know. I hear you. Mm. Um. All right. Oh, where's now? I lost. Aaron. Oh, Discord. Discord. We're on Discord, aren't we? Yeah. We, I don't know why you went back to the. You did. You started yeah, talking about a bunny ranch. I got to come up with a username. Give me a good username. I tried Frankie C. Is unavailable. Oh Jesus Christ! What about Frankie C. S. E. E. Nope. All right. I have a Discord, but I don't like how. Oh wait, am I in? I, my password wasn't working. Frankie C A O A. Oh, that's good. That's available. I'll do that, I guess. All right. I'm I'm excited here because I, I'm happy to have like a a constant place for a show discussion to be happening. Uh huh. Uh, I gotta cool. put in my birthday. What are you up to? I, I'm up trying to, to re verify my password because I was on Discord before. Yeah. I'm scrolling like hell to get to my actual year of birth. Oh, that hurt. Doesn't that hurt when you're like, that's oh, a, holy shit. Tough. This is a big scroll. <laughs> <laughs> they always start at like, you know, like 2000 and, you know, 12. And you're like, fuck, this is going to be a lot of scrolling. Wait, are you human? Little thing, And you just have to hit confirm that I'm a human. Now, why couldn't a robot confirm that? Can we get can Aaron, can oh, we here we go. Aaron to come back? Because I feel like Aaron knows the, the secret here. And uh... Please click on objects or elements that can be found inside a house. Okay, see, I, I got that too. Leave, but what's Aaron's surprise? Well, it's a surprise now, isn't it? No, Aaron's got a surprise. Aaron texted me on the side without Frank or anybody else knowing. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm in. Big surprise. Big surprise, Big. baby. Yeah, text her. It's time to come on for the surprise and also to explain Discord. I'll I think I'm just going to have to sign up for the new, but I have, I think I have Anthony on air on Discord. But now I can't get my forget my, oh wait, email does not exist. Uh oh. Oh, uh, see, I don't think anybody wants to see us watch us, uh, even though I just went through the whole thing. Anybody wants to watch us sign up for a thing? This is an exciting podcasting, is what you're saying? This is not exciting po podcast. Find friends. I don't know anybody's names. Or how do you find anybody? 
I, I can't. Anybody find, try to find me. I'm uh, Frankie C A O A is my name on Discord. Aaron, so do you find have you me? Been, sorry. Oh, God. Have you been talking to Raven about this? Just Raven. Okay. How, what do we do here? How do we get the? How do we get everybody to know what the Discord is? I mean, I just went to her Raven's Cravens page and was like, yum, yum, yum. And then I went to Robin's Nest and I was like, hey, Robin, how's the nest? And then I stopped. But you got on it. How yeah. did you get? Okay. How did you, you get on it? Right. I just no. went on it now. Well, do you see the chat rooms? The Raven's Cravens, Robin's Nest, Bird, uh, Bird. Um, help me out here, Bird. Anything. Bird no, that, that screenshot that I shared with you came yeah. from Raven. I didn't, I, right. that's not from me. I didn't sign in. Oh, okay. Well, when you sign in, you should see chat rooms. Maybe, maybe we do this off. Yeah, offline. this might not be. <laughs> <laughs> no, just tell me what password I should use. It'll be fine. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> All right, hold on. I think I got now. I'm I'm where Frank is. I'm doing this. Oh, it started at two, 2024. That's callous. Yeah, no one was. No one on Discord was born in 2024. Yeah. Jesus, you still here? I am. Hey, are we still friends? Hi. <laughs> we still <laughs> friends. I hope we're all still friends. Are we? I'd like to think so. She's not yeah. answering. She's not answering. Hello. That a no? Because I was on mute. <laughs> Wait, so, can you hear me answer? now? Yes. Yes. Oh, there you go. Great. Email already registered. Why oh, didn't you fucking God. tell me that before? I sent the, the only person in the chat that sent that put their thing in. I sent uh, TD Freelancer a friend request because that's the only person that put their screen name in or username. Please click on any items that can be grown by humans. All right. Well, I guess the six panda bears are out. I'll go I think a human can grow a panda bear. Can I ask you a question? Who do you think writes those things? Like, who comes up with... Somebody had to come up with that. Okay. Probably one of the for? conjoined twins. <laughs> conjoined twin. <laughs> Click on the conjoined twins. Oh, for Christ's sake. Hold on. I gotta select all the flowers again. Jack Meoff wants to know if we could build a MySpace page. <laughs> can we, is that still can we still do that is that still functioning nope damn i know oh that's That'd not didn't justin timberlake buy that well after the fact that everybody was off of it that was probably not a great investment but let's see uh yeah i i don't know how to find anybody in this thing except search for their screen name or their username Okay, how did Aaron? How did you get on it? I just, I don't know. I just, I, I'm doing everything that you guys did. I, I picked the motorcycles that didn't belong in the living room, and then <laughs> I got on, and then I just saw it said it had different pages that I could that I could write on, and I. How did okay. you see different? Look pages? at the one I oh. look at the one I just got right now. Please click on all objects that humans can ride. Fuckers. What are the objects they can't ride? I didn't say. Oh, cameras. I think Raven invited me. Raven, did you invite me? Oh, it was an invite. Okay. Yeah, we need invites. That's the, That'll help. Oh, well, that's the key thing, this thing. All look right, I'm this. friends with TD Freelancer right now. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Oops. All right, hold on. What? Back it up. All right, focus, focus. Come on, focus. Okay. Oops, you've caught an ultra rare error. This is probably our fault. So please try again or check our status page. <laughs> ultra rare errors. Those are tough. Uh, I love how they don't tell you what the error is. It's just it never. This never happens. But uh, it happened to you, buddy. I feel like this is like this is what my mother goes through every time she tries to sign into anything. I don't know what I'm doing, but I have right now. I don't even know, Aaron. What uh, you want? You're on this thing. Uh, try to find me. <laughs> I can't. Write All right, we'll do this. We'll do this after. We'll do this after. I you think. don't want to do this on the air in front of everybody? Embarrass the show think anybody, ourselves. I think people are on the edge of their seat, waiting to see if we can successfully navigate Discord. Well, this was my surprise. I hope everyone liked it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'm on there. Um. Is there a Frankie link? Frankie C A O A. If you want okay. to find me. All right. So Frankie C A O A. I don't know, Aaron, if you want to be publicly on there. Yeah, I think I'm Aaron C A O A, but again, I can't I can't do anything. 
while I'm on the phone with you guys. Okay. Is there a public uh, Raven? Is there a sure. link to this that we could share with everybody so everybody can join? Because that's kind of important. Shouldn't getting... we make a thing and have everybody join the AOA thing? You would think so, but it's, I mean, All right. we really can't. We could barely do we'll a We'll join whatever's that. Whatever. You guys got a thing, we'll join it. Uh, jack me off. I blame Anthony Fauci for all of this. I'm just happy he said Fauci. Um, it's probably Fauci's fault. Can anything be created in a lab now? It's very true. Right? So, you know, we can you, grow pandas in a lab. You know how we have a, a, a thumbnail, like a, like a, like a preview picture on the, every episode. Sure. Um, we put that in to our virtual, our studio. We, that gets made here at AOA headquarters. It gets put into the virtual studio and then it gets distributed everywhere. Today, the virtual studio had a new thing that was like upload thumbnail. And then right next to it, it was like create thumbnail with ai and i was like what would Ooh. happen if i press that but did you press it no i didn't because i just oh. saw it because it, like i said the thing was already created so it just gets put in and I, I just that's how we start every episode but i was like next episode i might just let AI create the thumbnail and see what happens do it let's see what what comes up it's gonna have 11 fingers on each hand but that's fine i'm now friends with mercury as well now oh, see so right now, now i have two friends all right. Uh, Raven says, I'll have to log into the same one Aaron was into and post it in the comments. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Post it in, 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 in the chat or the, in the, in the or chat the comments or comment on YouTube or Facebook or wherever. We'll find it. This way we could put it in the description for every episode. This way, everybody. Thank you. Yes. Miss Justice got it. We could put it in the description so everybody can, uh, Join the Discord. The funniest thing Raven said because Miss Justice and Robin are, uh, and I think Bird are, are like moderators. Hmm. Raven's like, can we just let them moderate the Discord too? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I get it. They're the responsible ones, but I don't know if they're going to be into doing the Discord uh, thing. Not it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. So we'll, well, we've got more to figure out here with the Discord. Yeah. It's really late. All right. Erin, uh, you have a surprise for us. Yeah, it's a new game, and you don't need pencils, and you don't need paper. Um, Yay, new game. Hold on. Well, expensive graphic. Oh. Very nice. Oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> this is fresh off the last new game you had. You're prolific, my friend. Thank you. You're like the Paul McCartney of podcast games. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you. Um, so this is called. I mean, some of you guys have probably played this. I don't know at sleepovers or like it's like Truth or Dare. It's a uh, five fingers down. You hold five fingers up, and I'm going to name something. And if you've done that thing, you have to put your finger down. And last person who still has a finger up wins. Sound good? So if you, this is the so last if you time I haven't done the thing. Let's see, that's good. This is the what? last time I ever say to Aaron, no, just surprise me. It'll be fine. <laughs> Why? You don't like it? <laughs> I don't nervous. know what I'm about to admit to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, actually, there's like a couple of saucy ones in there. If, if you guys oh, don't boy. want to answer, do whatever you want. Don't say put um, a finger down if you ever punch a lady in New York City. Don't say put oh a finger down. Okay. Oh, God. Here we go. No, get, make it saucy. Make it, I deserve this. Frank, so everybody, everybody in the chat, if... You've done the thing, just subtract from five. Just if you've done the thing and you're, you know, after everything, let us know how many fingers you have up. Still. Yeah, I say, put, say finger down or put the, put the finger up, emo put all the five finger emojis. <laughs> that, or you could put the number five or four or three or two or one or however many fingers you have up at the, at the time. Yeah. Sorry. I hope Steel of Sal is not on here because Janine already left. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were friends. You guys heard saying we were friends, right? She said it. That's on record. Uh, all right. Even even though she's a Trump supporting, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she thinks you do hate her, though. We're gonna have to iron that out. That's I think she thinks you hate her. I mean, I do hate her, but just she, she shouldn't think that. No, you don't hate her. No, I don't. All right, so I'm ready. Okay, so uh, everyone, put your five fingers up. And put one finger down if you have been to summer camp. All right, I have a question. 
<laughs> How would we know? Your hands up. Uh. I did attend one day of a summer camp three blocks from my house at a public school, and I never no, went back. To I'm that talking camp. sleepaway. I should sleepaway. have been more specific. Okay. That's sleepaway. what I'm asking. Five fingers. Sleepaway camp. No. Sleepaway no. camp. If you've done that, put so, your finger down, please. In the chat, you would put finger down, and you have four left. Oh, look, TD Freelancer like put the thumbs down, so that means her fingers, the, the, the fingers down. I like that. Or does that mean she didn't do that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <clears throat> That's a good point. I Mercury put one finger up. I don't know what that means. She went, <laughs> she went to four camps. Was it? Yeah, Mercury's like this right now. Yeah. Oh. Um, still five, says Robin. Okay, All right, there you good. go. Robin's got the five finger one, the wave. There we go. The wave. There's five fingers up. All right, Are Mercury there four, three, different... two, and ones in the thing? Uh, no, but that's what I'm saying. You just you could just write finger down. Okay. I don't. I've never been to Boy Scout camp. Is it overnight? I went to camp. Uh, I was a Boy Scout for literally six months. I went to. Uh, I went camping. It was overnight in. We went one night. Yeah, it was one night of camp. Well, someone just well, asked, does Boy Scouts count? And I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I don't think it was the summer, though. It wasn't summer camp. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those, you know, you're away from home for a while. <clears throat> so that does count? I, I don't know. I don't know how long you go away for Boy Scout camp. I went, your... I think, two two nights. I think I was in the... I'm not there. asking you. I'm asking the guy who... Oh. You went Jack to two up. nights of sleepaway of Boy Scout camp? I think it was two nights. I don't remember. It. How many it guys couple... came on you? Just a few. It wasn't that many. Okay. Uh, cool. Sometimes a week. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Should I put a finger down? I went. I went to. It wasn't summer camp. Sleep, but it was. We were camping in the woods for a couple days. I don't know. No. no I don't, oh my no, god! You're not. Doesn't... Please stop talking. Stop saying <laughs> things. Um, okay, we're moving to the next one. Uh, put your finger down if you sing in the shower. Okay done oh this is uncomfortable <laughs> why who, who doesn't sing in the shower no i don't know which finger to put down oh. <sighs> okay i'm gonna go i'll put this. the middle finger down who doesn't sing in the shower yeah put a finger down if you were come done in the forest it's <laughs> <laughs> fucked up You're a dick. <laughs> six months i didn't even get my uniform I was oh like, all right, I'm, I'm done with this. This meeting's boring. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Next up, put a finger down if you've seen a Fast and the Furious movie. Any of them? I think I saw the first one. I'm pretty sure. Never what? Saw any of it. There's never ten of them. Of you've it. absolutely seen this by accident. I've never seen. A, I, I think the most I've seen is like a, a ten second clip of like the rock walking in on a barbecue or some shit i don't even remember what the hell it was about but he said something weird and the other one and someone else said something like a like a joke back to him that was it the bird has three fingers down right now wow <laughs> ah. td freelancer three left bird has two left i think i have three left jack me off has five td freelancer four did we ask how the game ends is it when one of us has all the fingers down uh, one, one left. If every, if somebody still has one finger up when everybody else's is down, they win. But I actually, only have ten. So after that, okay, we'll see how we do. Wait, do, are there squeezies in this? I think they're all squeezies, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to get you out of this thing. Um, <laughs> no, I okay. like this thing. I, I don't think you're gonna. Here's the problem I find with this game. Oh, I yeah? don't think you're gonna push it to the max enough. That's what I think. You're too oh, nice. Boy. Stop oh, stop God. coaxing her. She's gonna <laughs> she's gonna stop. amp it up now. Stop poking the bear, Ant. Right. <laughs> All right. Let's see uh -oh. who has skinny dipped. Who is skill? I don't think I have. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> God, here we go. Oh my god. Yes or no, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm not skinny. Oh, this is really bad. I've not skinny dipped. Okay, that's awesome. No, that's, that's it. Right. End of sentence. You don't have to. Go. Okay. All right. However, right. no. Who cares? Okay. You, if you, all right. Did you not, not skinny dip? Skin. I'm just. All right. Let's move on. What you took okay. your top off? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I've been. I've been wiener out in the water at, at times. All right. Once or twice. I don't think that's skinny dipping. 
I think okay. you have to be naked. Totally right? naked? Okay. I think. All right. Um, Don't go in the Atlantic Ocean, by the way. God, the whole ocean. <laughs> the whole ocean's contaminated. That's it. <laughs> JSAB's pool parties are over officially. But oh, I've definitely um, gone uh, uh, my penis whoa. out of those pool parties. God. Damn. Okay. Um, all right. So chlorine in the world. Next up. Um, if you can't name three Shakespeare characters that are not the title characters, if oh, you can't shit. do that. <laughs> I'm like Romeo and Juliet. I'm two thirds of the nope. way there, baby. <laughs> if you can't do that, please put a finger down. Well, I got to see if I can do it now. I feel like you should have eliminated uh, Romeo and Juliet because Mercurio is one. Nope. No, that's Fuck. Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> You're just adding an O to Mercury. No, Mercury was the name? No. Oh. No, I thought his cousin was Mercurio. It's Mercutio, no. and I'll give it to you because you have right. to name two more. <laughs> I'm giving it to you, loser, because I'm pretty confident you can't name two more. <laughs> Bullseye. Uh, three characters. Is Othello a main character? Yes, that's the title. <laughs> Shit. I was hoping that was called something else. <laughs> I feel like Horatio is someone. Uh, does Does Juliet's mom and dad count? Can you name them? If you, they're Lady and Lord something. If you know their last name, I'll give it to you. Montague. Oh, nice. And Capulet. Oh, she yes. was Capulet. He was Montague. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Nice. Oh, so technicality. So we're still good. You can keep that finger up. What's this? We should. I named it. You got to name some other stuff. I know that. I know them. Iago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Diago. Um, I was going to say Horatio Mercutio before. And Horatio. Sands? Horatio Sands. <laughs> right. Horatio Sands. And Mercutio Jones. <laughs> All right. Uh, put a finger down if you're an early bird. If you like to wake up early and do stuff but can't stay up late, that kind of thing. You know your, yourself. Are you an I'm, early bird? I am I an early bird. I sleep four in the afternoon. I put, would put a finger down if it were me. I'd burn the candle at both ends. I don't know. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm going to put a finger down. I did Man. get up at 5 o'clock in the morning for 13 straight years. So You suck at this game. I got two fingers. I'm going back to this. Okay. Okay, the next one is you've gotten a hickey. Not saying given. I'm saying gotten. Even though I don't think that's a word. A but hickey. it's not proper, but You've received a hickey. How's that? Have I ever gotten a hickey? Hon, have you ever given me a hickey? No. Oh, good. Don't act like you weren't with people before your wife. Come on, man. I was, but I don't. I don't think I, I think ever you did. I think you told me you did once. Did pretty I? Sure, pretty sure Janine's brother has given us all a hickey. <laughs> That's probably true. Um, I don't remember if I did or not, so I'll, I'll err on the side if I did. Way to go, big man. Way to negotiate that tricky turn. Um, I don't get hickeys. Never got hickeys. I just, I don't know why that was ever a fucking thing. I, I, I don't understand it at all. Does a hickey from a vacuum cleaner count? Does a hickey from Kaniki count? Uh, bird. It's fist strong right there. Bird's out. <laughs> That's it. Bird's out. <laughs> bird found the I'm out emoji in this game. First one out. Oh, I like the way TD Freelancers matched it up, too. Four down, one left. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So three for Frank, one for me. Okay. We have two left. One is you've made a friendship bracelet. <sighs> You're asking for stuff that could have happened. I don't think I ever did. Yeah, I don't no. think so either. But it's I, don't think not... I, know. I don't think I ever knew how to. You know, like braid them together in some weird pattern. Right. I have it in the last 30 years. I know that. I don't know what I did when I was like 10 and younger. I'm keeping my finger up. All right. This is the last one, and it's a big squeezy. I'm winning this, by the way. There's no way to lose this now for me. Against Anthony, anyway. <laughs> if you don't know what DVD stands for, put your finger down. 
and don't look it up. If you don't know what DVD, what the letters stand for, put a finger down. I think I know. I think we're good. Really? I didn't know. I digital, think a digital uh, video disc. Disc. Yeah. Is that wrong? Oh God! I should have looked this up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look. I'll look it up. Yeah, quick. I can't You're on look the it phone. Up. Yeah, use your three fingers. I only got one finger. It'll take forever for me to look it up. <laughs> I'm still in Discord here. Okay. <laughs> DVD stands for. I'm still locked out of Discord. I you don't understand the the frustration. I oh wait, you found out oh, we no. were wrong. Okay, th- no, there's two. It, it, it could be two things. It's either digital video disc, which is we we got it right, or digital versatile disc. Oh, that's dumb. Well, it's either one. Versatile. All right, I didn't know either one. We're good. Because I guess a DVD could have audio on it. And no, I don't know. All right. Does anybody have? Uh, we can keep going. I have ten more, but I was going to do another round. But if you want to keep going, I can keep going. I'm still in it. I think you got to keep going till I'm okay. out, right? All I'm right, only. I got three fingers up here. You guys this are my my heroes. This would um, be an amazing comeback. And uh, put a finger down if you like strawberry ice cream. Oh, I like Fuck! Who doesn't love <laughs> strawberry ice cream? That that was a big squeezy. <laughs> that was a big one. I'm very strawberry much ice out. Good. Yeah. Especially if there's chunks of strawberry in it. That's good stuff. Can I tell you something? I only don't like one kind of ice cream, and that's mint chocolate chip. Everything else, and is I acceptable. love that. I love oh. mint chocolate chip. Sociopath. Oh, I, was, I, was... I love mint everything. Like if you know, if you have like a uh, mint, what are those? Not gummies, but like candies that are like chewy candies. You know, mm. like peppermint kind of candies. Those are good. All right, I am choosing Miss Justice and Robin. Justice has two. Robin has one to play against Frank the rest of this round. Everybody else can keep playing along, but those are the ones we're going to track. All right, right, Aaron, go ahead. Okay, um, put a finger down if you've seen the live-action Lion King. Oh, wait. The movie. Yeah, the movie. Oh, Oh, yeah, not 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 the Broadway show. I'm sorry. I I thought Broadway show. Okay, no, the movie I have not seen. Not the Broadway show, the one that was uh, the movie. Did see the Broadway show, not the movie. And by the way, I tried to be, I know, of course I know Frank, and I know, I thought Jay Sabs was going to be on this. Basically, I tried to do things that I didn't know. I'm not, I'm not playing so that Frank wins. You know what I mean? Right. You don't know if I've seen, yeah, I, I have not seen that movie. I wanted to, because I know John Oliver is in it, and he plays the the bird, and there's a lot of people in that movie. And they're, they're I'm sure it'd be good. I'm sure it's fine. Seth Rogen. All right, still one versus two, two. We have another sexy one coming up. You have oh role played. Role played. I don't think I have role played. <laughs> no. This is a shock. We we have a we have one person who could dispute or confirm that for us. <laughs> Aaron. You did it with me. I don't know. Yeah. You might have... No. Did you? That no. I find surprising. I thought I would have pegged you guys for role players a little bit. <laughs> well, now we've got something to do. <laughs> you never played Sign My Book at the Author Con? That kind of. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. What are you guys Take doing? Backstage. Yeah, vanilla ice cream, apparently. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, I don't know what the two of you do with your time because that's all I would be doing if I were the two of you. <laughs> we do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I make games for you guys. That's true. Um, all right. Next up, uh, you can play a musical instrument. If you can play a musical instrument, please put your finger down. Oh, that was that was targeted. That felt Dang targeted. Yeah, that one was used. That was personal. That was yeah. Personal. Uh, Robin, let me see. I don't know if Robin's behind. Let's wait for Christine is still in it, by the way. Mercury still got one finger up. Dr. Dex, two remain. Two down for Jamie. Jamie's in the lead, I think, right now. Diane has one finger up. Dr. Dex, one left. Bird, I need 14 fingers to win this game. Bird is the most experienced out of all of us. Can we all agree on that? <laughs> I think we're, I think that's settled science. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, Robin's no. out. No, Robin's nest is empty. Took Miss Justice down a finger, too. All right, 1-1. One, one. Miss Justice versus Frank for the championship of the put your finger down game. What? Let us know what instruments. I'm curious to see. 
All right, me versus Justice. Yep. All right, here we go. Okay. Um. Um. You. I don't know what this says. I have to go to the next one. I'm sorry. Uh, you wish on eyelashes. Oh shit. Oh, come on, be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, if Miss Justice not always. is out, not every time, but I, I have. All right, you do it. If Miss Justice yeah. is out, what happens here, Aaron? Sudden death overtime? They both put a finger up? Oh, I don't. Yeah, sure. Or if anybody else, or I don't know. Doesn't even uh, matter. We don't have uh, to get there. Oh, Miss Justice wins. Okay, you win, Miss Justice. She's won before in other games. She's good. Yeah, Miss Justice is good. She's world champion of the new put a finger down. Oh, game. Jack Mioff has two. That's Jack true. Mioff, have you worn a retainer? <laughs> that knocked Diane like, out, by the way. Who does it wish on a on a fucking I actually questioning Miss Justice's character for not doing that. That's an, <laughs> a, I thought everybody did that. There are things do you don't wish on like do you wish on a shooting star? I don't know what this says. Loosely accepting that I play. Okay. Uh, Robin plays guitar. Bird plays piano, guitar, ukulele, and drums. Mercury plays the drums. Cool. Yay, Miss Justice. Queen Justice. Justice. How about that? Queen Justice. I like that a lot. Long live the queen. Okay, guys. Dex plays the guitar. Very good. Excellent. Great game. That was a fun one. I like this game. I think we should play it again. Awesome. There's plenty of it, stuff to go make, around. It makes Anthony nervous, but sure. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Yeah, it does. That's why I like it. I do hate when people go on TikTok and they go, put a finger down if you, and then they name 4,000 things. That was fun the first time. Now I don't like it anymore. No. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's like, put a finger down if you went to your dad's second wedding and the best man flirted with you and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like, oh, oh something very told. specific to themselves. Yeah, yeah, like, like they're oh, telling a story. Yeah. I got you. That's ridiculous. All right. Uh, the reviews are in. Great game, Aaron. Oh. Mercury says, fun. Uh, Robin wants to start a band. Let's go. <laughs> um, Let's do it. Uh, Bird already calls Cowbell in the band. Well, shit. Awesome. That was something for me to do. You could edit and shoot our music videos. That's true. Um, all right. I, we, are, we gave the people over two hours, and the machine with the end of the show song is dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> it went to bed. It had a little juice left on it, and that's it. So we have to just abruptly end the show. We don't have to abruptly end anything, first of all. Well, not if you don't come to the table with some Muzak right quick. I love when you do the live rendition. All right. Uh, next week, we're back, obviously. Not sure if we'll have put a finger down or blind top five or last person standing. We got a lot of games. This is fun. We got three now. Yeah. It feels unnatural to have that many. Um, what I'd like to do, though, is I'd like to play blind top five to find out who the last person standing is with fingers up. See, this is why I don't talk to you during the week. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it for us. If you celebrate Easter, have a wonderful Easter. Yes. If Happy you don't Easter. celebrate Easter, consider converting to Christianity because right. we When's got a lot of good events. Passover. They're around the same time. Is it always different? I don't know. They don't match up sometimes, I don't think. But I'm passing Passover, over that and okay. celebrating Easter. Happy everything you celebrate. <laughs> You're so inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's coming to an end. Thanks, everybody. Show me potato salad. Maybe we should go now. Go ahead. <laughs>